Add it up. So, herzlich willkommen zum zweiten Tag vom Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Heute starten wir gleich in die zweite Runde. Gestern waren ja schon ein paar interessante Spiele. Den Auftakt der zweiten Runde heute um 12 Uhr machen Yannick Omlor und David Seemann. Welcome to the second day of the Bremer Schlüssel 2022. The second round is starting at 12 and the first players are Yannick Omlo from Germany against David Seemann from Czech Republic. The referee is Ralf Harenberg. Jetzt auf dem Court, linksseitig aus Deutschland, Yannick Omlor, ist 25 Jahre alt. Seine höchste Weltranglistenposition war die 91. Derzeit befindet er sich auf Ranglistenposition Nummer 100 und ist seit 2015 in der PSA. Als seine Interessen gibt er an, dass er gerne Sport macht, Filme guckt und reist. Now on court on the left side from Germany, Yannick Omlor, he's 25 years old, his highest world rank was 91 and his actual world rank is 100. He joined the PSA in July 2015 and as his interests, he tells us he's interested in doing sports, watching movies and traveling. On the left side from Germany, Yannick Omlor. Jetzt auf der linken Seite aus Tschechien, David Seemann, er ist 23 Jahre alt. Seine höchste Weltranglistenposition war die 145, aktuell befindet er sich auf Position 174. Er fing in der PSA an im Juli 2016 und als seine Interessen gibt er an, dass er gerne Sport macht, Filme guckt, Spiele spielt, Bücher liest und 
Fußball spielt. On the left side from Czech Republic, David Seemann. He is 23 years old. His highest world rank was 145. His actual ranking is 174. And he joined the PSA in July 2016. As his interests, he tells us he is interested in doing sports, watching movies, playing games, reading books and play football. On the left side, from Czech Republic, David Zeman. Wer schlägt auf? Play will start in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Bremer Schlüssel, 2022, round two match. Yannick Omlor of Germany to serve. David Seemann of Czech Republic to receive. Best of five games. Los. Lavo. So, hello everybody. Hello. Omlo Chisov. One so left. See very good length coming from Alnar on his on the first point of the match. Love. Oh, the ball ging leider tief. Yeah, indeed. work from both players um. stroke to Zeman 
Yeah. Hand out. Really clear. One, two. The ball was not free. Yeah, indeed. What a shot. Uh, well shot. Uh, one of the first balls coming to the front of the court. Um, Two all. The decision going with for that stop, for that drop shot. Let's see, man. Very well done. Yeah. Deep. Pressure from Seman coming, doing all the work, but Omlor is fighting back. Nice drop in, very well done, executed, tied to the sidewall. Richtig, Three, two. schöner Ballwechsel mit vielen Spins und dann hat Seman sich den doch noch geholt zum Schluss. Omlo's had trouble Four getting two. those balls and the second bounce and close to the side wall, both on the left and the right side. Just that the weight from those posts uh, from Seaman are so dangerous, so so precise. A little bit of guessing there. No, not getting that five two in. out three five I have to highlight that uh, Omlor is definitely doing some good length work um, on both sides short game not the best but on the length yeah. so far so good fit and tonsho hand out six three
Oh, it's great land from our world. Yeah. yeah. Hand out. Oh, beautiful. Back into the corner. Four, six. Ja, man kann schon merken, dass ähm, Zeman Erfahrung auf dem Court ähm, gestern gesammelt hat, weil er tatsächlich den Sprung ähm, ja besser kennt oder besser erkennen kann. Ja, aber dazu muss man sagen, dass beide wirklich sehr fit sind und dass Janik wirklich sehr viele Bälle erläuft, die für den einen oder anderen doch schon sehr, sehr, sehr schwierig sein können. Und muss man beiden zugutehalten, die machen da gerade ein Topspiel, auch wenn hier und da vielleicht noch ein paar Fehler drin sind, aber erstmal auf dieses Niveau kommen und auf diesem Niveau spielen ist schon hart. Charlie down that ball. Five, good work from, six. From Omlor playing that ball in. Omlor muss man, äh, muss man äh, dran denken, der ist zum ersten Mal hier auf dem Court in diesem, auf die, in diesem Turnier. Zeman steht heute zum zweiten Mal da auf dem Court. Gestern hat er die erste Runde gespielt. Ja, allerdings ist dieser Court für Omlor ja auch nichts Neues. Er hat schon öfter hier drauf gespielt. Zwar sieht der Kord immer ein bisschen anders, aber ja. Da hat man And den, out. Seven, den, five. den Aufschlag wechseln. Handout six seven. Seven all. Ja, da war die Frage nach dem Pickup. Handout. Eight, seven. Ich möchte ich nicht entscheiden, allerdings klare Ansage vom Schiedsrichter. Nein, seven. Ja, tatsächlich ist der Boost ähm, Zeman mehrere Male in diesem Satz mal gelungen. Ähm, the weight uh, that he has, that he achieves on, the, on those drop, on those bows is actually very impressive. Um, Simon is actually Eight, playing, nine. playing more um, stops to the front than Omla. Omla tries to play all at the length and yeah, 
they secure, but Zimon will get these points. Yeah, indeed, Zimon is bringing a little bit more variability. Hand out! Game than Omlo. 10 9, game ball. Hand out! for Zimon. Good call, good call from the referee, definitely. 10-8, game ball. Yeah. Hand out, 9-10, game ball. Was glaubst du, geht's noch in die Satzverlängerung? Ich glaube ja, ich meine, Zeman hat gerade gutes Selbstvertrauen gehabt, um mit dem Stammball dort ähm, vorne zu spielen, aber da werden wir mal gleich erfahren, ob er noch zu heiß ist. Na komm. Down. Ja. Verlängerung. Ten all. Second try A player for must win by two points. On that front corner, not getting that, that drop in. No. That's quite hurtful. We'll see if he can deal with the pressure now. To Omlo. No, ganz klar. 11-10, Game Ball. Tatsächlich war dann für Omlo. Game Ball und Satz war jetzt mal für ihn. Ja. Was jetzt passiert? Vielleicht ist Janik jetzt auch aus seiner Konzentrationsphase raus, aber werden wir ja bei den nächsten Wellen sehen. Netter Versuch von Nomlo, immerhin mit dem Screw. 11 all. Force Screw. Wie nennst du das mal? Wie dieser Berg hier? Lob. Genau. Ne? Ja. Schöner Rohrball nach hinten. Genau. It's a clear null that, sorry mate. But Simon was lucky enough to get the nick uh, out of that. 12-11, uh, game ball. Volley drop. Now let's see what this decision will make with the players. 
And right, we'll make another player set. Hand out. Twelve all. It's impressive how consistent um, Omlor has been on the in this game by just playing land, playing the ball to the back. Letting Seaman do the work in the front of the court. Hand out. 13 12 game ball. Mr. Seaman, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about your shot. Play that, please. Well, that's a rough decision from the stream. We could see it was a good. Uh, the ball was good. Sorry. Let's try to see it again 13, here. 13, 12 game ball. The replay um, by the commentators. We have the possibility to check it out again. Yeah, the ball was clearly good. Yeah. And out, 13 all. Stroke to Omlo. So we're seeing a more aggressive Omlo uh, in this. 14, um, 13 game ball. After the 10 all, he's going for more drop shots in. Taking a little bit more the volley, as we saw in the previous um, phases of the uh, game. He's doing more pressure and... Thank you! Yes, there was the 15-13. 15-13, game to Omlo. Omlo leads, one game yeah. to love. Amazing free, uh, free, play. free play. Free play action oh. from Salmon. <laughs> Play will resume in 60 seconds. Zoom in 30. 
20 seconds. Add it up. 15 seconds. Time. Omlo leads. One game to love. Love all. One love. So starting the second game, we can already see how Omlor stay consistent to his uh, game plan, playing most balls to the back. <laughs> but that's a good pickup, nice guess, a little bit odd there, keeping up. I'm not sure. Play a lead, please. Mr. Omlo, your pickup. I'm not sure. Yes, lead. Ja, ob das schon die Mentalspiele sind? Man weiß es nicht. Ja, tatsächlich. Also, Simon hat einige Jahre mehr Erfahrung als Omlo nee, in der PSA nee. World War. Omlo ist ein Jahr länger da. To love! Omlo ist ein Jahr länger, Entschuldigung. Ja. Für alle zu hören, ähm, Omlo ist tatsächlich 25 Jahre alt und äh, David Seemann 23 nochmal, kurze Erinnerung. Ja, und Omlo seit 2015 und Seemann seit 2016 in der PSA. Und spielen da Turniere. Mhm. Out. Ja. Three love! Four love. Oh, 4-0 das. Das tut jemandem richtig weh. Ja. Du weißt, vielleicht feiert er noch sein Comeback. Ja, tatsächlich. Also. Aber ich glaube, wenn Omlo weiterhin so dominant ja. spielt und mit der Five love. mit der Strength. Ja, wir müssen mal dran denken, dass äh, Zeman sehr dominiert hat, ähm, ja. den er das Herz ja. hat, dominiert hat. Der war sehr aggressiv halt zum, zum vorderen Teil des Korps. Sehr gute Dropshots gespielt. Ja. And out, one five. Da hat man wieder den Boss gesehen, das wo wir eben schon drüber gesprochen hatten. Die kommen teilweise sehr gefährlich. Ja. Mm, the ball was good. Alright. Two five. Down. 
Hand out. Six two. So, wir können ja sehen, dass äh, Zeman tatsächlich ein bisschen seine innere Ruhe so äh, verloren hat in dieser zweiten Hälfte. Er schafft nicht ganz genau halt sich auf dem Chor zu positionieren. Safety, yes, lad. Was hätte ich da Yankee gesagt? Ja, schwer zu sagen. Also der Ball war frei zum Spielen. Beim Ausschwung hätte er eh nicht oh, getroffen. It was close to a no -let. Und äh, deswegen wäre ich sogar eher bei einem No-Let gewesen. Aber aus Sicherheitsgründen, Six, for safety two. reasons, ist eigentlich immer ganz gut ein Let zu geben. Tatsächlich, aber ich schätze, ähm, ich schätze mal die, die Aussage des Schiedsrichters, ähm, dass ansonsten tatsächlich ein, ein No-Let gewesen wäre. Ähm. Also ich wäre auch eher bei einem No-Let. Ja. Spiel geht weiter. Jo. Down. Four, six. So slowly we can see a little bit of a comeback here from Zeman, who was um, love four in the first um, part of the game. Okay. Standing back four six. Definitiv, also da ist sie mein einfach 5-6 komplett anders gespielt, hat komplett anders gespielt, ist sehr aggressiv ja, im Vergleich zu seinem vorherigen ähm, Spielplan. Aus diesem aggressiven Ball einen noch aggressiveren Ball zu machen, das ist schon eine Leistung. Tatsächlich. Hand out. What do you say? Is Seven tired? five. Is Simon getting mentally tired or physically tired? Oh, I think so. I think before he will go mentally tired, he will go physically physically tired. But I don't know him well. I just saw him playing two times and. I saw Omlo playing several times and yeah, Eight it's, five. it's hard, it's hard to think about that or to guess that. What do you think? I think um, Omlo did a great work on the first uh, game by uh, working uh, Zeman down um, in, the sin in the meaning of, well, playing only length game. It was a 22 minute game, the first one. 9-5 Omlor seems to be a little bit more experienced what it regards the physical aspect and working and walking the court yeah, Let's see, we will find out Indeed Great top spin drop shot from Seaman on that forehand. Hand out. Very good one. Six yeah. nine. You can see how confident he is uh, sometimes um, for playing those shots. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, that drop shot as well uh, in the two points back was amazing as well. Oh. 
and he's doing these shots every time. Indeed. So every time when he is a little bit oh this shot very also good. very good. Yeah. Sehr gut gelesen. Seven nine. Ja, der hat, der hat auf jeden Fall gewusst, wo der Ball war und dann direkt einfach. Genau. Sehr nice shot. Hand out. 10-7. Game ball. Bitte täuscht von Amla. Definitiv. Gute Arbeit da. Dort vorne. Jetzt stellt sich mal auf nur ein Wahl entfernt. Ein Punkt entfernt von dem zweiten Satz. Da ist er der Punkt. Ja. 11-7 gehen jetzt in eine Omlo. Omlo Pause über Two games to love. und kommen dann pünktlich zum dritten Satz wieder. Fifteen seconds. Mr. Freeman, Mr. Freeman, can you change your shirt? It's very wet. Quickly, please. Thank you. Ja, da nochmal die Aufforderung des Schiedsrichters an beide Spieler, die T-Shirts zu wechseln, weil die sehr nass sind und man die Unterbrechungen so kurz wie möglich halten möchte. Wenn jetzt zum Beispiel mal ein Spieler einem Ball hinterher springt oder wie man auch im Fachjargon sagt, hindivet, dann möchte man vermeiden, dass der Court Service kommen muss, um den Court much. einmal trocken zu wischen um eben halt die Unterbrechung so minimal und so kurz wie möglich zu halten. So, jetzt geht's los mit dem dritten Satz. Und wir sind gespannt. Also der zweite Satz war schon mal halb so lang wie der erste. Omlo leads. Two games to left. Lavo.
One love. And out, one all. All fine, all good. Hand out to all. Ja, da hat Omlo nach den Pickups gefragt, weil die teilweise sehr knapp waren und doppelt aus haben. Aber Anzeige vom Schiedsrichter war alle alle gut. Mal gucken. Three, two. In comparison to the first game of the match, um, we can see Omlor now showing a little bit of deception in the front of the court when going to front. Um, can either play a drop shot or a, a straight drive. We can not really say what he's gonna play, um, and that team knows that. So. He doesn't really get that se that security that he had on the his, uh, that he had on the first game. Four two. Well, maybe we can see here the difference on the condition. One two. So Omlor. Was trying and now to produce three, four. The pressure as well as in the first or second game, and now he tries to continue this to the third game. And you can see that Zeman is at his ball. Oh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. I mean, um, Ab und zu mal machen die ja äh, hier diese Rallyes an der Wand entlang, die sehr gut wirken. Das war ein sehr tight ball. Hand out! 5-3! Leider aber tief. Ja, da sieht man mal wieder, dass der Seemann mehr angreift als der Omlor. Ne? Also, der Seemann versucht die Bälle teilweise mit schnellen Punkten vorne zu versenken, während. Omlor eher die Länge sucht. Ja, tatsächlich. Aber dieses Spielplan ist ihm tatsächlich in der ersten Satz mal gelungen und äh, dann in der zweiten Satz war es auch mal erstaunlich, wie er mal aggressiv mal vorne spielen äh, konnte. So sicher. Jetzt gar eben ein bisschen gut. Hand out! Indem er mal den Four, Blick in five. der hinteren Wand halt bindet. Ja.
five all. Five. Nice well play decision from Oblor as well. Down. Hand out. Six all. Very and out. Very good tight Seven, from, six. From both players on that front corner. Hand out, seven all. A little bit touristy shot from Zeman. Over the head, going in for that volley cross corner, I would say. Also nicht, noch nicht so eindeutig, ähm, wer das, äh, dieses Satz mal gewinnen könnte. Ob der Umlauf schafft, tatsächlich mal den Zug zu machen und dann mal nach Hause zu nehmen, zu bringen. Ja, das ist im Moment ein bisschen undurchsichtig. Gebe ich ehrlich zu, die Stärkenverhältnisse wechseln alle paar Sekunden und da war wieder ein richtig nicer Shot von Seemann. Hat er richtig gut gemacht. Handout! 8, 7 Es geht weiter Hand out. Eight all.
Handout 98 Down Hand out. Nine all. Mr. Omlo, don't waste too much time. Thank you. Hand out, 10-9, game ball. Hand out, 10 Da kommt die nächste Satzverlängerung. gute Erfahrung von zehn Mann in dem letzten, in dem ersten Satzverlängerung gehabt, aber ja, was, ja, was jetzt kommt, das hat ja immer was mit der mentalen Stärke zu tun. Tatsächlich. Vor allem in der Satzverlängerung kommt es immer mehr auf die mentale Konsistenz auch an. Wie bist du gestrickt und wie verkraftest du diesen psychischen Druck, der dann da auch auf dir herrscht, wo du dann sagst, okay, zwei Punkte, wenn der andere jetzt noch zwei Punkte macht, dann was das. Dann bin ich hier raus aus diesem Turnier. Dann muss man immer mal gucken, wer da die dickeren Drahtseile im Hirn hat. Eleven ten Matchball. Das Omlo aktuell noch die härteren Nerven hat, aber mal sehen, was der weitere Spielverlauf noch so bringt. Noch ist nichts gewonnen, bis auf zwei Sätze. Und das war er, der letzte. Punkt Twelve für ten Match for Omlo. Three games to that. 15, 13, 11, 7, 12, 10. Insgesamt fast eine Stunde gedauert dieses Match. Wir machen gleich um 13 Uhr nach einer kleinen Werbepause weiter mit dem Spiel Stuart McGregor gegen Jakub Solnik.
So, jetzt auf dem Court, auf der linken Seite, Stuart McGregor aus England, 24 Jahre alt, seit 2016 in der PSA, mit einer aktuellen Ranglistenposition von 143 und der höchsten Ranglistenposition von 129. Seine Hobbys, Musik, Filme, Klettern und Snowboarden. On the left hand side, from England, Stuart McGregor, he is 24 years old, joined the PSA in 2016, his ranking is 133 and his highest ranking was 129. As is its interest, he tells us he likes to hear music, watching films, going climbing and going snowboarding. On the left-hand side, Stuart McGregor from England. Half time. And now on the left hand side, Jakub Zolniki from Czech Republic. He is 27 years old, joined the PSA in February 2017. His actual ranking is 126 and his highest ranking was 86. As his interest, he tells us he, won he likes to do sports and watching movies. Und jetzt auf der linken Seite Jakub Solniki aus der Tschechischen Republik. Er ist 27 Jahre alt, seit 2017 in der PSA. Seine aktuelle Weltranglistenposition ist die 126 und seine höchste Position ist die 86. Seine Interessen gibt er an mit Sport und Filmen. Der Schiedsrichter dieser Partie ist Shifraj Singh. So, noch 10 Sekunden Warm-Up-Zeit, dann geht es einmal kurz raus für eine kurze Pause von den Spielern und dann entscheidet sich, wer Time. anfängt. Da war der Callout vom Schiedsrichter. Und McGregor hat gleich den Aufschlag. Jetzt haben die Spieler noch eine Minute Zeit, sich vorzubereiten auf das Spiel und dann geht es los.
play will start in 30 seconds. Play will start in 15 seconds. Time. Bremer Schlüssel 2022 round two match. Stuart McGregor of England to serve. Jakub Solniki of Czech Republic to receive. Best of five games. La Vol. Down and out, one love. Down, two love. Down, three love. Hand out, one, three. And out for one. And out, 5-2 Down And out 3-5 
four, five. Down. Pick up was good. Five ball. Five ball. Shot is good. Six five. Hand out six all. And out seven six. And out seven all. And out, eight, seven. And out, eight all. Down, nine eight. Down ten eight and game ball.
Hand out. Nine ten. Game ball. Ten all, a player must win by two points. Eleven ten game ball from the right. Hand out, 11 all. Down. Hand out, 12 11, game ball. Thirteen eleven gave to McGregor. McGregor leads one game to love. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds.
15 seconds. McGregor leads one game to love. Love all. And out, one love. And out, one all. And out, two, one. Down and out to all. Three, two. Four three, excuse me, four two. Five, two. And out, 
The ball is at the back. Four or five gentlemen, this court is okay, it's, it's not too wet, it's okay. The court is okay. Okay, thank you. Four or five. The pickup was fine. It was fine. I'm hundred percent sure that pickup was fine. Hand out six four. Six four. Down. Hand out. Five, six. Six all. Seven, six. Down. Hand out. Seven all. Hand out eight seven. Down nine seven. And out eight nine.
down. Hand out. 10-8. Game ball. Down. Hand out. Nine ten. Game ball. Ten all. Out. Hand out. 11-10, game ball. Hand out, 11 all. Down. Twelve eleven, game ball. Not up. Hand out. 12 ball. Down. Hand out. Thirteen twelve. Game ball. Fourteen twelve came to McGregor. McGregor leads two games to love.
Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Add it up. 15 seconds. McGregor leads the game to last. La ball. La ball. Stroke to Solniki. Hand out, one love. Oh. Two love. Down. Three love. Four love from the left. Not up. Five love. Six love. Hand out, one, six. Down. Hand out, seven, one. Eight one. Down. Nine one. Ten one game ball. Eleven one game to Solniki. McGregor leads. Two games to one.
play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. The door is open. 15 seconds. Time. McGregor leads two games to one. Solniki to serve. La ball. So we are back after a short lunch break. Hand out. One love. All right. So let's see what it go how it goes. And out, one all. Amazing bows. And out, Gregor. two one. Remind all, all our guests here in the stream that um, McGregor is actually three years younger that, um, than Solniki. McGregor is 24 years of age and uh, Solniki 27. But McGregor had one year more experience or what means one year just four months more experience but Solniki had uh, uh, higher world ranking indeed Solniki is 126 and uh, McGregor is 143 ranked on the PSA World Tour right on the first two games, McGregor... Pick up was fine. 3-1. Hmm. Yeah. Good to set for himself. We're seeing great action actually on the front of court. Uh, both players have been quite aggressive on those drop shots. Uh, playing a little bit too hard for my taste, but um, still making each other move around, adding up Five, some one. strain on those legs. Already by the fourth game, 
Gray were leading two games to one. Yeah, he is also really present in this game. Yeah, that's true. I mean, one thing that I uh, realized um, in the first couple of games of the match is that McGregor is actually really present. He is, uh, in German we say, body, um, Körperhaltung, so... His, his body language. His body language, actually, yeah. Um, just presence on the court. Six, I mean, not one. dominant, but it's engaged the whole time. Something that we cannot really see, but it's all Nicky. I mean, um, he's been trying a bit, but um, no. still doing his best Seven, to one. fight back McGregor. Eight, one. Um, and what we can see here is that the mental strength of the one is very important. We see here high uh, handout, physiological, Two, eight. psychological pressure for Zoniki who is seated on number seven in this tournament and now will lose or maybe will lose against McGregor in a very tough oh, and great, great drop shot, great drop shot, sorry for interruption but it was just an amazing drop shot from something did over there I mean the pick up from McGregor so engaged, so present on that, on that, on that front corner again gentlemen Mr. McGregor We'll have to play a let. I'm not sure about your pickup on the right. I'm sorry. I'm not sure, so you'll have to play a let. We'll, I'm not sure. We'll have to play a let. Thank you. 2 8 from the right. <laughs> 2 8. So I mean, tough situation for McGregor over there, uh, having a bit of a discussion with the with the referee. I mean, he made he gave maximal effort to get those uh, to get to those pickups. And out as we could see on Nine the replay, um, he actually got all of them. But well, from the point of view of the referee, if he's not uh, able to, if he's not sure about it, then that light needs to be played. Also, this pickup was great. Down. But, mm, uh, down. Hand out. Three, nine. Amazing drop, three quarters of the uh, three quarters. And of out, court. ten three match ball. Playing that drop in with that precision, that quality, is something really nice to see coming from McGregor. Yes, let. <laughs> ten three match ball. That was a clear Down ball three, down the ball. middle of the court. I mean, the referee sees it as a lead. There was a free wall to play, but the ball was coming back to Solniki. So, yeah, well, have to go with the lead. 11 3, match to McGregor, three games to one. Only for McGregor to win it, three to, three to one. 
11, 13, 11, 14, 12, 1, 11, 13, 11, 13, 3. The next match on this course in this tournament is in nearly 10 minutes, so on 2 p.m. James Peach against Robert Downer. Robert Downer is the uh, number six, the seed number six of this tournament. Uh, he is 30 years of age, 103 on the world ranking. Uh, it's going to be playing against James Peach from England, uh, 25 years of age, um, and he is 124 in the ranking. Um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, Robert Downer is promising quite a quite a good match. Um, both players um, had a good run and um, ha had a good run all the way up to this point. Um, James Peach uh, having a great match yesterday and um, Robert Downer starting fresh. We'll see how it goes. All the best, both players.
okay, all right. Auf der linken Seite jetzt James Peach aus England. Er ist 25 Jahre alt und im Oktober 2023 der PSA beigetreten. Seine aktuelle und damit auch höchste Weltranglistenposition liegt bei 124. Seine Hobbys zählt er mit Reisen und Snowboarding. On the left hand side, James Peach from England. He is 25 years old, joined the PSA in October 2013. His actual and highest world ranking is 124 and his interests are traveling and snowboarding. Half time. Jetzt auf der linken Seite Robert Downer, auch aus England, 30 Jahre alt, im Dezember 2009 der PSA beigetreten, aktuell auf der 103 in der PSA-Rangliste und seine höchste Ranglistenposition ist die 75 gewesen. Seine Hobbys gibt er an mit den Dancefloor Hitten, Playing, Padel und Cooking. Now on the left hand side, Robert Downer, also from England, he is 30 years old and joined the PSA in December 2009. His actual world rank is 103 and his highest rank was 75. His interests are hitting the dance floor, playing pedal and cooking. Time. Dana will serve. We will now have one minute break before the first game will start.
play will start in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Bremer Schlüssel, 2022. Round two match. Robert Down of England to serve. James Peach of England to receive. Best of five games. Love all. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're about to see a very interesting match. Uh, Mr. Peach uh, had a great match yesterday against um, his com uh, his um, an Irish Sam Buckley, if I don't recall badly, exactly. Five setter, very very physical. Five, uh, Seventy-five minutes it actually lasted. We'll see how it goes today for him. 69 minutes. 69, sorry for that. Against uh, Sam Buckley from Ireland. Hand out, one left. Hand out, one all. Thank you. Hand out to Wong. Yes, let. Good call from James Pitch. Two one, Mr. Peach. Sorry, calling for that safety let. <laughs> the ball goes out of the court, and then we are soon. And now two all. Hand out, three, two. Four two. Good pressure from both players in the start in the start of the match. Great precision from, from Robert. Hand out. Three four. Looking for the player, I mean, get it a little bit more than that. And out, 5-3. That was clearly, Down. I mean, clearly fishing. Yeah, indeed. 
Roar got the land anyways. Hand out for six. I'm not sure about this pickup. Some quality drives coming down the Five, right six. side of the court. And then just missing there that cross court. A little bit of a pity, but let's see how it goes. And out seven five. Down. Eight five. Hand out six eight. Some rough work from we for James to over there. Seven eight. information Mr. Downer is uh, from England um, but he's now living in Prague in the Czech Republic um, oh. 8 all. Mr. Downer as well he trains in the um, um, academy at the squash club Strachop um, quite known in the last time um, in Prague because of the um, great amount of players, of great level players that has been receiving, just to name a couple of them Diego Elias, uh, Gregory Goltier, um, Mohamed El Shobagi, Marwan El Shobagi. And out, 9 8. Sorry, that last one I'm not really sure uh, if it was Mohamed or Marwan, one of the. Yeah, Marwan El Shobagi, I believe. And ha then having players on the top 100 of the world training every single day is great help for them to be able to play at this level. Ooh, amazing what? shot from Mr. Peach. 10 8, game what ball. Beautiful ball.
he was playing the ball like putting the butter on the bread. Yeah, I mean, but it's so precise that it proper. It's a beautiful proper. Yeah, indeed. Kind of, maybe, uh, kind of remind me to Cameron Pilly. A little bit slower, but Hand out! Still. 9 10, game ball! Yeah, he wants to carry a racket, you know. Eleven nine was the eleven nine and um, the game to Peach. Game to Peach. Peach leads one game to love. So we are now doing a some advertisement and see you soon on the second game. <laughs> seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. So we are back on court. Second game. Peach leads, one game to love, love all. So it was a great performance from both players on the first game. Um, very technical I would say, I mean, um, balls were coming down both sides, um, straight drives, very tight to the sidewall. And um, the precision as well, actually, uh, with those drop shots was amazing. I mean, we'll see how the second, what the second game or has to show. And there you go, yeah. first one coming straight one up, left. and there he is continuing. Yeah. Well, there we can see that James Peach is actually quite confident. Then Robert answering as well, and out then one one drop in onto that front left corner. Great boss, great two wall boss. I mean, two one, absolutely fantastic from Mr. Peach. Out. And out, two all. And out. Three, two. Okay. 
Wonderful drop from Mr. Peach on the four two right hand side. Stroke Peach. Five two. Six two. Very confident game uh, from Mr. Peach on this second game of the match. Seven two. Robert not feeling really confident with his uh, shots. Trying out different kind of drop shots, going in for the um, fast um, play. Mr. Peach is really precise, really Eight accurate two. on this second game of the match. He's been finding ever he's been getting all their his um, drop shots in, very tight as well to the ten. Wonderful work from Nine Mr. Peach uh, on his short game. I mean, it's really astonishing how he's uh, been able to get all his um, drop shots in. Such a perfect way. Grasping out that ball over there. Good variation game. Oh, amazing drop shot in there. Down. Top spin on his back Ten two. Absolutely. Lovely. Game ball. Almost like a Mizuki he tried it over there. I don't know if you could say that I actually got that. Wonderful. 11-2. Game to Peach. Peach and late. Two games to left. And he is running over. Right, right now we continue with the short break. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Fifteen seconds.
Time. Page leads. Two games to left. Level. So, third game. Let's see how Mr. Downer is able to cope with the, well, angry reaction from um, Mr. Peach uh, so far. Second game was just amazing how aggressive he was. Mr. Peach, Mr. Peach, don't wipe your hands on, at the wall. Thank you. So let's see if... Tough moment. Rough moment, uh, definitely. And out, one left. From downer. Get it, still getting in that, that drop shot. Down. And out, one all. Not sure. Not sure. Well, to uh, to all guests, actually, um, to everybody um, looking at the stream, I mean, from yes, my point of view, one all. the ball was uh, just into the tin, just actually jumped, um, but the referee wasn't able to um, to say if it was good or not. So we're playing a let. Wonderful drop from two uh, one, Mr. Peach. Good technical work from and now two all from Mr. Downer. Um, he actually needs to get past Mr. Pitch with his hands a little bit more. I mean, uh, his ball uh, just uh, staying three quarter of the of the court, not getting to that. There you go. It was a very nice uh, drop shot, taking out the tempo out of three, it. Three two. Four two. Lovely of hands uh, from um, five two. Mr. Downer to get it that uh, drop shot in. Um, we can see that most of the points are actually ending up with a, uh, a drop shot by both players not really relying on their length game at the moment. Very good width from, from Mr. Downer. 6 2 on that cross court. Just getting past uh, Mr. Peach to be able to grasp that 6-2 uh, on the third game. Um. 7-2. It's a little bit uh, the 
Mr. Downer now is awake and was sleeping the first two games with this high pressure what he is trying to take here let's say and out three seven mr peach is finding back into his game well definitely you can say that um downer is playing a little bit more technical so not allowing um mr peach to be so consistent in the, in the middle of the court um getting every volley in uh just like we could see right now four um, seven in the second game it was just so Eindeut, if you, uh, you could, um, so clear, actually, um, how dominant uh, Mr. Peach was in the middle of the court, um, Robert just going, going back and forth everywhere, there you Hand go, out. great land, Eight, four. great positioning, great cross court from Mr. Downer. Hand out five eight. Down. Hand out nine five. Ten five game ball. Quite surprised, um, Mr. Peach, on that um, volley. Actually, okay. Went in for it. Lovely shot. Top and spin out. backhand. Three Six, quarters of the court. Ten game ball. Going in. Wonderful. Just lovely. Seven ten game ball. Great reading of the game uh, from Mr. Peach actually, uh, and that last point, just being there waiting for that straight drive to come, and then just cut the ball as fast as possible so that Mr. Downer is not able to get it. Very wise uh, playing, Mr. Peach. Good volley drop in. Volley Eight ten game ball. Make, sorry. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Safety. Good call from the referee. I mean, a ten game ball. Very implied, very fair play uh, decision from Mr. Downer to mm, actually ask for that safety let. Great pickup from Mr. Downer. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. He gets to the ball. A ten game ball. A little bit of interference in the middle. Build of traffic. <laughs> Amazing two more balls. Eleven eight. Game to downer. Peach leads Downard two games to one. To get that third game, amazing stuff. So, we'll be back after a little bit of an ad break. Okay, all right.
Play will resume in 60 seconds. Second, play us on court, please. Time. Peach leads. Two games to one. Down not to serve. Lavo. Play on, please, guys. Thank you. Hand out, one laugh. Two laugh. Three love. And so we're back on the fourth Down. game. Um, Hand out. One, three. Down our one, three right now. Not getting that drop. out for one. Peach leads four to one on the fourth game. Let's see if he's able to wrap it up and take it home with three one. Great length first uh, from Mr. Peach. Um, Five one to get in uh, downer um, under pressure, and then good width, passing him by, get that last point. Robert will have to be a little bit more technical with his game if he wants to uh, also take this game back. Already down four game four uh, four points. Sorry for that. He will need to get a little bit more length on his game. Just uh, the ball, his uh, straight drives, his length game is just falling a bit too short, uh, not getting past um, Peach.
now having to do all the tough work and Pitch just gets that last cross court in 6-1 actually fine in the neck in the back sending downer on the wrong way wonderful drop in from uh, Mr. Peach 7-1 beautiful are playing way too much in the front of 8-1 yeah mainly this uh, match has been a short um, a short game basically based uh, not very not very much length game um, we could see that actually on the second game um, of the match where mr. Pete uh, was just going every chance that he had was going in with a with a short ball uh, and now we see the tank is nine back. one. The tank called Peach nine one in the fourth game, and let's see if Donna can stop him and have a great comeback, or if another non-seeded player will win against a seeded player. Right box, please. We now see mm, down right box, please. Uh, saying that right the ball box. is not clear Ten enough, or not um, wide enough uh, to see. Um, they are trying. Oh, okay, they are they playing, are playing a let. A let. Uh, also, the referees will be confused why the, uh, the, uh, the players are playing a let right now. And out. Two nine. We could see um, Mr. Peach trying to wipe the ball a little bit to clean it up. Um, to make it wider, I think I believe. A bit of and out. On that point. Ten to match ball. No, ten no. to match ball. Yeah. And Clear the tank keeps rolling. Clear advantage from Mr. Peach. And, and downer plays it. Plays Eleven it two it match to Peach. And that's Three rolling. games to one. Match to Peach. That was actually quite Eleven a nine. Eleven two. Eight eleven. Eleven yeah, two. Um, well, well, um, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't uh, think that. Um, well, well downer. Uh, well, downer was uh, coming back and forth uh, with his uh, mental game. Mr. Peach, um, um, well, sorry, uh, Peach was actually doing quite good work uh, for uh, for Alem. Um, and overall, the overall, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, just a little bit of German coming through uh, on the second game. Very interesting uh, how he was able to keep the pressure to. Um, keep up with a tight game tight match um, and his um, yeah, yeah. match plan was actually very impressive I mean yeah, yeah. so uh, now we are will play advertisement and we will continue with the next game between Yuri Harpers from Belgium and Andreas Herrera from Colombia and uh, see you on 3 p.m.
Light it up.
Add it up.
Okay, all right. Add it up. der linken Seite Andreas Herrera aus Kolumbien, er ist 26 Jahre alt, seit August 2015 in der PSA. Seine aktuelle Ranglistenposition ist die 149 und seine höchste Ranglistenposition war die 115. Als seine Hobbys gibt er an, dass er gern mit seinen Freunden was unternimmt. On the left hand side on court from Colombia, Andreas Herrera, he is 26 years old, joined the PSA in August 2015. His actual ranking is 149 and his highest world ranking was number 115. His interests, Liberos, Amigos y Parjar. Half time. Jetzt auf der linken Seite Juri Harpers aus Belgien. Er ist 31 Jahre alt, seit März 2014 in der PSA und seine aktuelle Ranglistenposition ist die 133. Seine höchste Ranglistenposition war die 130. Aktuell lebt er in den Niederlanden und seine Hobbys sind... Kunst, Malen, Musik und Schreiben. Now on the left hand side, Juri Harpers from Belgium. He is 31 years old, joined the PSA in March 2014 and his actual ranking is 133 and his highest world ranking was number 130. He is actually living in Rotterdam in the Netherlands and he is interested into arts, painting, music and writing. The referee of this match is Shivraj Singh. Time. Thank you. So, jetzt auch nochmal für die Zuschauer, die vielleicht jetzt erst zugekommen sind. Es spielen Juri Harpers aus Belgien gegen Andreas Herrera aus Kolumbien.
Juri Harpers ist 31 Jahre alt, im März 2014 der PSA beigetreten und seine aktuelle Ranglistenposition ist die 133, seine höchste Weltranglistenposition war die 130. Aktuell lebt er in den Niederlanden und interessiert sich für Kunst, Malen, Musik und Schreiben. Auf der anderen Seite haben wir dann Andreas Herrera aus Play will start in 30 seconds. Er ist 26 Jahre alt, der PSA im August 2015 beigetreten und aktuell auf Weltranglistenposition 149. Play will start in 15 seconds. Seine höchste Weltranglistenposition hatte er mit 115 und seine Interessen sind Bücher, Freunde und wir können das nicht übersetzen, also das ist ja sehr einfach Time. kolumbianisch ist spanisch, tut mir leid. Okay. Bremer Schlüssel 2022, Round 2 Match. Yuri Harper of Belgium to serve, <lacht> Andres Herrera of Colombia to receive, that's the fight games. Uns ist aufgefallen, dass wir uns vorher noch gar nicht vorgestellt haben. Ich bin Janke und neben mir sitzt... Ich bin Juan. Genau, und... Lavol. Wir beide kommen zusammen, wir sind ein bisschen im Event. Juan versucht das alles eher auf Englisch und ich versuche eigentlich eher auf Deutsch dabei zu sein. So, the action is here. The action starts over here. Um, so we will see. Very interesting match, I would say. Um, Andres, um, as, I, as I heard from him, he is actually taking part in two tournaments um, in Europe, coming from Colombia. Um, first, this tournament here, and then one in France. Um, after that, Down. he might be doing a tour in and Australia. Out. So yeah. So for, so good for that. One love. Him getting the first point um, by a ten of his opponent. Harpers. Harpers. Sorry for that. There you go. Out. Two love. Down. Right. Three love. Three points, uh, three tins so far, three balls out. Um, two, two tins, one ball out from Mr. Happers. Uh, we'll see if he can get a little bit, we can get on court on the match. As this one sich, um, sich entwickelt, uh, it developed itself. Very nice shot, very random, a little bit of a disco. Time there. Hand out. One, three. Ja, und für alle die Zuschauer, die vielleicht noch nicht wissen, wer er ist, was ist der Spieler mit dem orangenen Schläger? Wir haben gerade schon ein paar sehr schöne Bälle gesehen und freuen uns natürlich auf mehr. Mal gucken. So ganz bewerten kann man das Spiel ja in den ersten Ballwechseln noch nicht. Nach dem ersten Satz wird es einfacher. Very good luck from Herrera to come out of that situation and putting a little bit of pressure in the front of the corner. And then finally, uh, Two, Happers three. just coming in front and smashing it uh, with the cross court. Das war ein sehr schöner Ball, der hinten ans Nick reingefallen ist. Tatsächlich. Lovely ball in the back into the neck. Stroke two hoppers, three all. Quite interesting how Herrera actually was able to find the line into that shot, but then with uh, his love, um, he couldn't actually come out of it. Get in the throw, Mr. Hoppers. The match is three all. Yes, let. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, it was, from the left. it was a clear let. The ball was coming from the sidewall. All great, yeah. 
but uh, Habers actually was just right in the middle of the court, not leaving any chance for Herrera to play that shot. Um, we'll see. Well, the referee said a let. We're playing that. Stroke to Hoppers. Bit of fishing from Hoppers. Four, three. Bit of a fishing there, the ball also came to the middle. But anyhow, stroke to him. The match state, uh, stands 4 3. Yes, let. My apologies to uh, all, Four, the three. all the people On the right. following the stream. Um, me mixing up both languages, German and English. Doing my best over here uh, to say on one. But hope you can understand. Stroke to Herrera, hand out for all. So as the rule book says, um, when there's interference in the hitting and the swing um, provoked by the uh, second player um, not being able to clear the, the shot, then a stroke is awarded to the hitter. In this meaning, um, Mr. Herrera from Colombia. Yes, let for all from the right. Down five four. And out, five all. And out, 6-5. Yuri Hapas. Um, Andre Seridas. And out, six all.
So we remind our viewers that actually um, Andres Herrera is um, five years younger Stroke to Herrera. than Hoppers. The ball was too loose. Stroke to Herrera. Hand out. 7 6. Sorry? Well, there we have a Happers um, saying that Mr. Herrera is actually making time um, by going to the towel. The players are in the right to go to the towels, um, but yeah, I mean, the referee should um, take in consideration if it's happening too many times that he um, actually tells the player to stop doing it or to stop making time by, by doing that. Bit of a loose shot from Herrera in the middle. And out. Seven all. Trying to play that cross court and didn't actually work out. Uh, left the ball in the middle and then uh, Harp Hoppers um, was able to play uh, that lovely drop shot in. Not up. Well executed Eight, volley seven. drop from Mr. Hoppers. Um, Andres Herrera not being able to speed up and get it, get the pick up. 8-7 from the right. No. Herrera. Hand out, eight all. Bit of a frame of shot there, uh, still getting in. Very impressive. I don't know if I can take it. I mean, how the ball spinned. Hand out. 9 8. Interesting how Harper's um, relaxed his swing in the last um, the last straight drive, and then Herrera wasn't able to play the shot with um, that much confidence, therefore hitting the 10. That's left. 9 8. Out. Hand out. Nine all. Already the fourth um, unforced error from um, Mr. Hoppers um, in this game. No let. No let. The ball was gone long before you got ready. Sehr hart Entscheidung, würde ich mal sagen. Yeah. Hand out. No, the ball had passed you. Well, Mr. Herrera, I saw that the ball had passed you before you were in position. Hand out. So considering, I mean, uh, Mr. Herrera is yeah. uh, meter 74 and that ball actually just was racing as uh, he stopped uh, the playing. 
I don't know, I mean... It was a clear stroke from my point of view. Uh, this referee didn't see it that way. He actually saw that the ball was long gone uh, in height um, when he actually asked for it. Um, I don't know. I would have said all day long a stroke, out. but the referee, the pure and out. he didn't see it that Ten way. All. A player must win by two points. Eleven ten. Keep on coming ball. from uh, Mr. Harper's um, as the match develops. Already by the fifth that I can count at least that I can remember. Uh, unforced error. Not up. Impressive drop shot from Mr. Herrera. 12 10. Over there. 12 10. To game to Herrera. Herrera leads one game to love. To wrap up the game uh, 12 10. I mean, amazing. Um, amazing performance from Mr. Herrera. Um, keeping that consistency, consistency on, the, on his game. We'll see how it goes on the second um, game. So, go into an ad break and see you in a half minute. One and a half minutes. Okay, all right. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Errata leads one game to love. Love all. And out, one love. Two 
to love. Well, we can see in the second game that Habers is jumping on court, um, just hunting down every ball down. Three, yeah. love. Schnelle Punkte. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I know. So you want to make the first points. You see, he is... Four, love. He isn't giving Andres the time to think about the ball. He is just playing the ball that Andres is forced to hit it and cannot think yeah. about what ball it should and be. out one four but maybe it is now a little bit too fast for him when andres also do the speed i i happen to know andres um from well my days in south america and um he's a very how do you call it uh, very speedy player i mean he uh, trains regularly with um two four couple of guys, very impressive guys in Colombia, um, among them it's actually Miguel Angel Rodriguez uh, when he's uh, around there and as well Chris Gordon from the United States. Um, so I mean he has quite some impressive uh, Three, training partners four. over there, training partners, sorry for that. So let's keep it up, Andres is now serving 3-4. to four. Great lens uh, for all. Right now. And out, 5-4. Out. And out, 5 all. Well, you can really tell how um, it's that um, Harper's is not really comfortable with this kind of um, fast uh, hitting um, or accurate hitting from, from Herrera, um, not being able to actually settle down on court and uh, get a proper stand on the ball. Six five from the left. Right intentions, bad execution. Um, it was quite a risky shot. I mean, the ball was passing by. Um, not a proper stand uh, to get that ball in. Would have been quite impressive. I actually got it. Hand out, six all. Not up, not up. It rolled out of the nick. Hand out, 7-6. Well, to everybody, um, from our point of view here, um, from the com commentator, um, kind of shoe box that we were located. Um, the ball was actually good. I mean, he got the pick up, the um, ball jumped out of the neck, but the referee didn't see it that way.
Hand out. Seven all. Good length from Happers. Um, dying length, I would say. Herrera not being able to get the ball out of the corner. And now the game stays um, stands seven all. Yes, let seven all. Eight, seven, hand out, eight, seven. Ein sehr, wirklich sehr schöner Ball, den Andres da gespielt hat. Richtig schön, Cross rüber und dann noch vor der Aufschlagslinie. Hand out. Vor der Mittellinie im Court. Hand Mittellinie. out, eight, seven. Out. Eight, nine. Impressive work on the on that. Gentlemen, uh, please don't take so much time between the points. Thank you. Impressive work on that front left for um forehand for and out. eight nine. Backhand for Hoppers. <laughs> Wonderful volley cross and neck out. from Herrera. Ten eight. Game ball. Lovely, just wonderful into the neck. Eleven eight came to Herrera. Herrera leads two games to love. Very good action we are seeing here from Herrera and Habers. Um, Habers is a little bit more consistent, not playing so many uh, unforced errors like in the first uh, game. Um, Herrera being able to cope with the pressure of um, of Habers and um, finally wrapping up the second game for him. Um, 11 8 
they will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Herrera leads two games to love. Love all. And out. One love. Lovely some hands from um, Mr. Happers uh, playing that drop shot in on the right side of the court. Down. They are uh, not getting that drop in. Two love. Three love. Focus needs to be back for Herrera if he wants to. Um, cope with these hoppers already leading three love, love playing a wonderful cross court neck uh, for cross court love. drop sorry for that in the front of the court down five love so hoppers already has a five points lead uh, um, against um, Mr. Herrera from Colombia. We'll see if he is able to actually come back out uh, from that. Down. Trying out the six love. Trying out a very well shot actually. I mean over the head straight volley drop from three quarter of the court. That's well. And out. One six. So the the Vorsprung von Erega is jetzt mal hat sich auf uh, fünf Punkte mal verniedrigt. Wir werden sehen, ob er das äh, tatsächlich mal schaffen kann. Yes, let. Now he changed his trajectory to avoid running into you. Yes, let. One six. to offer hand out 7-1 after a good exchange on the front left corner um, of drops 8-1 both player, um, era wasn't able to uh, handle the pressure or the speed out of, of that uh, cross court uh, drop from hoppers and finally gave up the point to him Nine one. one. Impressive quick hands from Mr. Hoppers.
handout 2-9. So we can see how in this uh, third game actually um, the match um, has twisted a little bit uh, to the front, a little bit more to a front core. Um, a front court game actually instead of um, relying on the length. Which is actually making handout 10 to game ball. It's actually making things a little bit harder for Mr. Herrera. Um, therefore, losing the match. The, the 11 to game, sorry, game to Hopper. Uh, Herrera two leads to games to one. 2 11 and um, match and uh, now stands a 1 to 2 or 2 1 for. Uh, to one for Herrera. Sorry for that. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Gentlemen, please be ready to play on time. Herrera leads two games to one, Harpers to serve. Please play, gentlemen. La Ball. So coming back to the action on um, game four on the fourth game, we'll see uh, how the match develops. From my point of view, he actually got that put. He got to that ball. Error! I got to that ball. Yeah. He made that ball. The ball was good. The ball was good. The picker was good. Hand out. Impressive. One love. Down to love. Three love. So Mr. Herrera making a strong comeback from his last um from the last game. Um which um he lost to 11, now leading 3 love. Bit more, imp a bit more pressing on the court, I would say. Hand out. One, three. Impressive drop shot. Two, three. Uh, volley drop shot from um, Mr. Happers. On the fly, dropping in, getting the sidewall. 
space and stuff. Down. Down ball from Mr. Herrera. Free all. Again, relying on the short game instead of the, the length. Great movement and from both players actually happening right now. Herrera gets the ball out of the corner. Hubbard's trying to lob it in again. Hand out. Just Four. make it out Three. of the court. Very good rally from both players actually happening on the fo um, fourth game. Uh, um, Herrera now leading. Four. Three. Four to three. Five, three. I mean, it's a good tempo, though, the one that we're being able to see right now. Um, both players very immersed on the Five, game. Three from the left. Not like in the in the last game that we could see that Mr. Herrera was not very present um, with his um, yeah on the on the match itself. Now, actually, leading for two points, five to three. Great love from Happers. Going for that ball across Kornick. Stroke to Herrera. No. Um. There was no line to the ball. Your ball was too loose. And he was plenty of time. 6-3. From the commentator's uh, point of view here, um, we could see actually the ball coming out from the side wall as well, um, going straight into the body of Happers. So, a stroke is awarded to Herrera, who, who besides uh, running into the body of um, Happers, actually was going through the line to the ball. 7-3. Seems like Happers is a bit uh, struggling with um, how the match uh, has developed now, how the um, game plan of Herrera has developed right now in the fourth match after the break. Out. Hand out for seven. Uh, to the spectators that might be wondering um, why the um, colors are not right is because the um, referee actually five uh, seven forgot um, to uh, change the colors of the players um, when they got into the court. Um, those were the colors that w the players were using on the first um, games of the match. Interesting choice um, of uh, Happers uh, playing that inverted boast from the back right corner. Down. Seems on great level. Six, seven from the left. Seems on great level. Um, straight drives down the left side of the court. Both players very immersed 
um, on their accuracy and um, their confidence on their straight drives, their length game. Stroke to Herrera. Hand out, 8-6. So Herrera leads at two for um, at least two uh, points um, in front of Hoppers. 8-6. Two games to one. We'll see if he's able to wrap it up. Out. I'm sure. Nine six. Hubbard's not um, agreeing very much to the decisions of the referee. Um, from my point of view, the ball was still in, but um, you know, this color, these colors, um, it's hard to follow the ball actually. And from the point of view of the referee, we're sitting right next to him. It's kind of hard to actually say if it was good or not. To everybody listening, um, actually, um, Andres Herrera has um, a nickname. He is, um, his nickname is actually Pipe, so Pipe Herrera actually right now only one point away. 10-6, match ball. From getting the match. 3-1, now leading f by four points, having four match balls. Ten six match ball. Eleven six match to Herrera, three games to one. So uh, great performance from both players, Herrera getting the win at three to one. 12, um, 10, 11, 8, 2, 11, 11, 6. Wonderful stuff from both players. Um, yeah, Harper, Harper's uh, was struggling a bit um, on the fourth on the fourth game. Um, didn't actually get got quite set up uh, with the game plan of Herrera, and um, yeah, he finally got the win. Actually, he Herrera finally got the win, three to one. Going to a little uh, break before the next match starts at uh, 16 o'clock um, here in Germany, in Bremen. Um, so see you in eight minutes. Uh, on court is going to be um, Yuri Farnetti from Italy playing against Balas Farkas, uh, the n number four seeded of this tournament coming from un Hungary um, on the central court of the Bremer Schlüssel. 2022. Als nächstes, bevor wir jetzt ein paar bisschen Werbung einspielen, nochmal der Hinweis. Um 16 Uhr geht es weiter mit dem nächsten Spiel zwischen Juri Fanetti aus Italien und Balas Farkas aus Ungarn. Er ist auf die Nummer 4 gesetzt. Kann also ein sehr spannendes Spiel werden. Wir sehen uns gleich in circa 7 Minuten wieder. Bis gleich.
His actual world ranking is 140 and his highest world ranking was 120. His interests are music and gym. Half time. Jetzt auf der rechten Seite Balas Farkas aus Ungarn. Er ist 25 Jahre alt, der PSA im August 2016 beigetreten. Seine aktuelle und damit auch höchste Weltranglistenposition Position ist im Moment die Position Nummer 70. Und seine Hobbys sind Fußball. Now on the right hand side from Hungary, Balas Farkas. He is 25 years old, joined the PSA in August 2016, and his actual and highest world ranking is number 70. His interests are football. Play will start in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Bremer Schlüssel, 2022, round two match. Yuri Farnetti of Italy to serve. Balaj Farkas of Hungary to receive. Best of five games. Lovo. And out, one love. Down. And out, one all. And out to one. <laughs> and
and out to all. And out, Four two. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure. Maybe it was a double bounce. I'm not sure. Yes, let. Four two. No review. Stroke to Farkas. Five two. Left. Seven two. Yes, lad. Seven two. Stroke to Fanetti. Hand out three seven. And out eight three. Down and out. Four eight. Hand out nine four. Down. 
10-4 game ball. Eleven four game to Farkas. Farkas leads one game to love. seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Farkas leads one game to love. Love all. No lead. One love. So after a small break, we're back to action um, with the commenters, um, with the comments here um, on the PSA Challenger Tour. Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Two love. On court, are you infinity against um, Mr. Farkas? Against Balas uh, Farkas from Hungary, Yuri Farnetti coming from Italy. Three and love. Balas Farkas from Hungary, wearing the light blue and orange T-shirt against Farnetti, wearing the golden T-shirt and white. So. Fine. Exciting match, the Fall one that we have here to see. Both players are very active, very engaged um, on the match, with the match. Um, very present, I would say. Very present. Um, their body language as well, very aggressive, I would say. Uh, trying to hand down the ball as soon as possible. Yes, let's. Bit of traffic there, going, trying to get it into the, the shot, into the ball, and the front right Fall corner. Up. Yuri, one um, four. Farnetti, playing that drop shot with such a touch, amazing stuff, definitely.
great length, great length from from Farnetti. Two four to then build up to that a great um, great chance. Um, just drop it in and wrap up the point, taking it and leading now four to two in the second game. One to lock three four. Games. Farkas tried. Farkas tried to go for the sh short game, quick and short game, not really working out for him. Yeah, unfortunately. There's a better line on the left hand side, and you go to the player. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to agree with the referee there. Yeah. No. Left box five four. Well, there was a clear line on the left uh, from Farnetti. Um, Farkas would have been able to actually get the ball. Um, if he had just gone to the left of him, of his a little bit more work from him would have been expected to get to that shot. Stop! Thank you. Great fair play call from um, Farkas. Six four. Farnetti now leading six to four. Sorry for uh, that before. But then a mistake, yeah, no worries, sorry for that. Great and out. Five six. Great technical work from Mr. Farkas, uh, getting that drop shot in on the right side of the court, very tight to the side wall. Farnati not being able to take it off to grasp it out, out of the wall. And out, seven five. Great work from from San, um, Farnetti. Sorry for that. <laughs> uh, from Farnetti getting that ball very tight to the side ball. Farkas not being able to grasp it out. And out. Six, seven.
interesting info on both players. Um, uh, Farnetti is actually was born in Milano and um, in Milan and uh, now living in Riccione and training in Riccione in Italy. And um, Mr. Farkas, he was born and still training and living in Tabania, Hungary. So Ali Farnetti not being Seven able to all. clear that shot early enough for Fargas to play it, so therefore getting a stroke on that Mr. Farkas. Now the match stays, stands 7 all and 1 love for Farkas. Farkas playing through the traffic for the second time, falling off. He asked. He asked early enough. He asked early enough. Yes, let. No, you, you was with your foot in the way. Well, Farkas falling off, um, playing through the traffic. Then the referee um, deciding to actually give a let on the whole point. It's an interesting decision. Um, I mean, Fargas, indeed, he played through the traffic, he accepted the interference, and uh, Farnadi actually would have Left won the box. point, but the referee decided to give a let on that. Interesting decision from the referee. Mr. Fargas? Seven all. Mr. Fanetti, we don't need the towel after uh, after every rally. Right box, please. Eight seven. Great rally from um, both players. I mean, was a lot of variations on, on every kind. Most surely, almost every shot was involved in that uh, in that rally. 
really good stuff from both players. Stop. Nine seven. Yes. Really good work from Farkas, um, making Farnetti do all the work, trying to get every wall, making him struggle. Farnetti also very well done. He is just going to every ball, letting it all on the court, leaving it all on the court. Ten seven game ball. Down. 11 7, game to Farkas. Farkas leads. Two games to love. Fifteen seconds. Time. Falcons leads two games to love. Love all. And out, one left. Down. Two left. And out, one, two. 
So we're seeing the action here on the third game, the match against Farnetti, Farnetti against uh, Farkas. We can see Farnetti leading two points to one. Gave a safety let. Well, from the, one, com two. the commentator's point of view, actually, from here, um, I mean, it could have seemed like a struggle to me. I mean, the could could actually perf uh, do any kind of a shot uh, out of that position. Uh, Fargas was just covering most of the front court. Oh, well, sorry for that. Two all. In f Farnet, Three, two. Farnet seems to be struggling quite a lot uh, with getting the ball past uh, Farkas, but um, the high difference is actually quite noticeable between both and the reach that they both have. It's the difference is quite big in that sense. Um, no let. Farkas' position is also very um, aggressive, just standing right where. Four two. Reading the ball, reading the ball very well, yeah. standing there where he knows he's gonna go. No. No. Stipulating a little bit of Farkas there. A uh, Farkas, sorry. Bit of a loose drop and out. boast. Getting in trouble on his own. And now, 3 4. Then just play it out. Still has to lead, but just releasing a bit of the pressure there on the last moment of that, uh, that last point. Really is confident dropping the ball in. Down. That post didn't quite work out for him. For all. Still, I have the impression that Fargas, being a tall guy, he still is quite agile for for his height. to Farkas and out 5-4 Farnetti moving into the swing of Farkas quite a dangerous move from him um, putting himself in danger but anyhow yeah hope, um, luckily it's not danger because of it Farkas apologizing to him and then moving on now him leading 5-4 on the third game in a match where he's leading to love in games Farkas. Running some diagonals here, Farnetti. Great deception work from, from Farkas. Very well done from him. Six four. Left box, please. Great ball and out. Shot. Five six from Farnetti getting that ball in. 
pretty well positioned, hunting down the ball in the middle. No lead. No. Hand out. Seven five. I mean, the accuracy from Fargas is really admirable. I mean, three uh, great drop shots, one after each other, one after another, um, making Farnetti work. Really struggle to get the, the pickups uh, good. Fargas still playing the ball. Amazing. 8 5. Right box, please. Pretty interesting that he actually. As for that ball, I mean, uh, Farnetti was pretty much in the middle of the whole situation. He risked getting injured, getting hit by him. Still played it. Okay. Stroke to Farkas. Farnetti not getting the the accuracy that he needs at this very moment. Nine five. Nine. Hand out six nine. Down seven nine. Down. Eight nine. Left box, please. Hornetti doing a comeback at three points in a row. Coming back from a 5-9, now already by a 9-all, it's really nine all. pretty amazing stuff what's coming out of this Italian guy. Um, quite a performance he, uh, he's having right now. Fargas not really getting his uh, thoughts straight um, in order to wrap up the, the game and the match. Hand out. 10-9. Match ball. So finally Fargas first match ball um, after a strike a, a stride of four points for Farnetti, one after the other. Um, pretty impressive stuff from the Italian guy, definitely. Coming back and setting a 9-0. Now 10-9 for Fargas. It's a match ball leading to love.
stroke to Fanetti. Well, and out, 10 all. Your shot was to lose. Fun. Pick up was good. 10 all, a player must win by two points. Well, Fanetti getting the stroke there is qu quite of a shock, I would say. Um, I mean, he got there, but there was traffic. The ball was loose still. Great shot, great volley and drop cross court from uh, 11 Farkas 10 match ball. To get his second match ball of the, of the match. Really self confident. I mean, on the jump, completely on the air. It, getting that ball in is really impressive stuff. And out, 11 all. Park is getting the no lead there. I mean, ball was loose. And he just started to go too late to the ball. Stroke to Fanetti. Ball opening up, coming to the middle, down the middle. 12-11, game ball. Farnay the bidding ready. He gets his first game ball of the match. Coming back from a 5-9. Now being 12-11, having the chance to go to a fourth game. Yes, let. Now giving a yes, let decision. The ball, the ball is too far away. Twelve eleven game ball. What, up? what an accuracy. What an accuracy from, from Farkas getting that drop in on the left side of the of the court. Down the side wall. And out 12 all. Great work from both players trying to wrap up this um, third game of the match where Farkas is leading two games to love. Farkas already had um, two match balls and Farnetti one game yes, ball. Yes, led. Yeah, that, that was traffic problem. Twelve all. Thirteen twelve match ball. Farkas now on his third match ball of the match. Going for the three love and he makes it. 14 12, match. match to Farkas. Three games to love. Great performance from both players. 11 4, 11 7, 14 12. 43 minutes full of actions, full of action. Great match between these uh, two pl two guys. Um, Fargas wrapping it up in three. Now 
we are coming to a small 15 minute break until the action continues here in the Bremer Schlosser 2022. The next match is going to be at 17 o'clock between the, the number three seed of the tournament, Ali Abu Elainen uh, from Egypt against Elliot Morris Devred from Wales, uh, who fought up yesterday um, the Mr. Heiko Schwarzer from Germany uh, on the round on the first round um, and got the win on three games. Yeah, all the best to these two gentlemen. We're going to be meeting up on court in 15 minutes. Um, we're going to be doing a small break right now and then see you at 17 o'clock. All the best. <laughs>
Add it up. Auf der linken Seite Ali Abu Eleni aus Ägypten, 22 Jahre alt, seit August 2019 in der PSA, aktuell auf Position Nummer 63 in der Weltrangliste und seine höchste Weltranglistenposition war 61. Seine Interessen sind Finanzen, Soccer, Netflix und Golf. On the left hand side Ali Abu Eleni from Egypt. He is 22 years old, joined the PSA in August 2019. His actual world ranking is 63 and his highest world ranking was 61. His interests are finance, soccer, Netflix and golf. Half time. So, jetzt auf der linken Seite Elliot Morris David, David from Wales. Er ist 24 Jahre alt, seit Juli 2016 in der PSA. Seine aktuelle Weltranglistenposition ist die 156 und seine höchste Weltranglistenposition war die 133. Als seine Interessen gibt er an Fashion, Boxen, Golf und Techno. Now on the left hand side from Wales, Elliot Morris Derrett. He is 24 years old, joined the PSA in July 2016. His actual ranking is 156 and his highest ranking was 133. His interests are fashion, boxing, golf and techno. Das ist left. So, and again for all viewers of the live stream, the Elliot Morris David is on the left hand side with the white t-shirt and Ali Abu Eleni is 
with the blue she t shirt on the right side. Time call out is out. And now let's see who serve. Who's serving? Okay. Thank you. Derek is serving. Play will start in 30 seconds. Play will start in 15 seconds. Time, Raymond Strussel 2022 round two match. Elliot Modest Everett of Wales to serve. Ali Abu Elainen of Egypt to receive. Best of five games. La ball. Now let one love. Stroke to Elinen. And out, mm -hmm. one all. So starting us a new match here um, on the PSA Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Um, we are looking right now at a line in against Devred. Game st stands Down. one all. Two one. Uh, ich wollte mich mal kurz Yes, let to one. Down three one. So, one interesting um, piece of information from Mr. Leinen here on court um, wearing the uh, light blue t shirt is that he is actually um, studying in the USA um, at the Penn College, uni College or Penn University and um, He's part of the squash team um, playing college squash league over there in the States. So he's living there in Philadelphia. There you go. Down. 4 1.
down. Five one from the right. So we're seeing great quality from both players um, on court right now. Um, both the line, the line, and us. Um, Morris playing great straight rallies down the sidewall. Feeling uh, that line is a little bit more confident than Morris actually Down. in this uh, beginning of the match. Six one. It's n number third seeded on the on the tournament. Likely to see a great performance from him today. Seven one from the right. Down mm. and out two seven. Important lead uh, from Alignin against Morris, um, seven to five games, uh, five points up. Um, yeah, I mean, Alignin, you can see how his body language actually on court is. He's there. He's really present. I mean, he, he's really present, really aggressive, jumping on the ball, trying to cut down as much time as possible, more, uh, Morris as much time as possible. What a great lob. Yeah, de definitely a great lob. Um, we can see Morris actually kind of coping quite well, but uh, we'll see how long it takes actually for Alignan to tear him apart uh, physically. We're checking uh, on the age right now on both players. Um, Hand out. So only two years H2. of difference. Alignan 22 and uh, Dev. Morris, uh, 24 years of age. Anyways, you gotta highlight that there's a difference of 13 centimeters in height between both players, so both in weight and as in reach. Um, all right, we have two very different types of players um, right here on court at the Premier Schlüssel 2022. Yeah, to show you the difference, Elaine is only 1.75 meters high. Uh, Talk to Elaine. As there's Morris, who is 1.882 meters high. And uh, Morris also is great drop from the line from the from thir Down. third quarters of the court. Hand out going in three nine. Completely sure, I would say. I mean, he really got the position um, on court and then to play that shot. Right now, Alainen with out. the lead. Of six points, first game and out. Of, uh, first game ball. Then three game ball. Having seven game balls right now. Quite <laughs> impressive uh, stuff uh, from and this. And the ball um, goes through the net out. into the next court, and all the people who are helping here couldn't find it. Uh, now, now they have the ball. Yeah. There you go. There is the ball back on court. 
And out, 10-3, game ball. Gotta and out, 4-10, game ball. Got to highlight the first uh, lob coming from Alainen um, to get out of that pressure. And then Morris trying to do the same thing but just falling short there. Stroke to Alainen. 11-4, game to Alainen. Alainen leads one game to love. 11-4, first game for Alainen. Alainen. Just after 10 minutes. Yeah. So I think that will be a very short match. Yeah, I mean, as we were, as I was saying before, um, Alina is uh, the um, seed number three of this tournament. Um, he's already into the top ten, into the top hundred of the of the world, um, or not? Yeah, uh, hundred and fifty-six. No, 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 sorry, no, he is on you know, 63 and uh, 156 is Morris. In, well, so there. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's quite a difference in the in the level these guys are used to play. You know, um, to everybody that are listening in, uh, listening or watching the the stream, uh, s small introduction as well um, to your commentators. Uh, today uh, my name is Juan I'm from Argentina so there you go you can see I mix I'm mixing up English German and play Spanish will the resume whole time. in 60 seconds yeah um, my name is Yankee I'm from Germany and I'm mixing up the English and German things there you go so and that will help you a little bit now you can understand if you, uh, if you <laughs> have uh, some some problems with some words there you go so um, we both got uh, we're both um, yeah, accompanying you to today um, on what it is the round two of the Bremen Schlüssel. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Here in Bremen, North Germany. Jens, Jens, is it your two? Fim, fim, uh, 15 seconds. So just five seconds left, and then we're up live. No, then the break is over. Yeah. Elainen leads one game to love. So next La ball. What do you think? How much time does it take? Um, I'm gonna go for 25 yes, minutes. Um, he'll all, all games 20 or 25, 28 minutes, I would say. All games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just throw it out, um, seeing if that. Um, but it should be about One 30, love. 30 or under 30 minutes, I think. The line in seems really confident to uh, today. Let's see if you're right or not. So, but there was a very great stop. Yeah. Alina is um, really loose, but um, having great depth in in his shots, great length as well. Um, the weight uh, that he's applying Ooh, on his shots, and the again. ball was down. down. Good for play Hand decision, out. definitely. One all. Yeah, good call. Yeah, good try. Great drops, oh. great drops, great action on the front of the court. 2-1. Front right corner. Um, Morris finally getting uh, that 
drop sh those drop shots of qual those quality drop shots in, um, making a line and do the arrow in the end and getting the two one on the second game. Down. Um, now and now two all. Hand out. Two it's all. It's a mentally game between yeah. them two. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Not only. Lane tries to do some pressure and let Morrison run, but Morrison had so long legs that yeah. he's able to go to the ball. Yeah, but I can tell you, as a, as a tall guy myself, I can tell you that those extra steps that he's taking, those uh, extra strides, are actually Down. doing some hurt. Uh, they're hurting him. And out. 3-2. If the match uh, comes to a little bit, a little bit longer, becomes a little bit longer, it's gonna hurt. So he's gonna, uh, he's gonna feel all his legs. Yeah, because you have got all the way down to the ground. Down. Yeah. But there's the second mistake in a roll, and also the four two. Four two. There you go. I mean, the referee. Had red, um, had tip three all. It's four two for Morris. Ball was just above the tin. Oh, beautiful! Beautiful. And out. Deception three, from four. from great touch from Alainen. Sehr gut angetäuscht. Sehr gut angetäuscht. Yeah. Für alle unsere deutschsprachigen Zuschauer und Zuschauerinnen. Ähm, genau, wir sind Juan und Yankee nochmal. Hand out, 5, 3. Äh, wir entschuldigen uns ja, dass wir halt ähm, hauptsächlich mal auf Englisch mal reden, aber ja, ähm, wir sind auch mal auf live. Ähm, auf Deutsch rein. unterwegs. Ja, sorry, genau. Yes, let. Und das ist eine sehr gute Entscheidung gewesen. Sufficient Interference. Ja. Wir sind auch mal auf dem PSA Stream, äh, Livestream auf YouTube unterwegs. Bei Sprechen wir meistens ja auf Englisch. Down. But the decision out, four, from the referee five. about the last one, the last decision was very good. Okay. Well, if you agree to it, then I'm happy and glad. Ooh. Great drop Beautiful. shot. And out. Volley drop Six. shot from, Four. from Morris on that left side of the court. So stable. S so stable. So sure. Great um. touch from Alainen. Great touch. Seven four from the left. You could see you could see him in full in oh, almost sorry. full stretch. Drop it. Five so and close. out five six. So close to the ten. Such quality. And out five six. Mm. Um, just wanting too much, Morris, on that jump Six and all. volley drop in. Down. Down. Oh, seven, seven, six from the right. He's doing pressure. Who wants to go first? Yeah, well, I mean, he's already ha ha he has a stride right now, a line and from four points. Um, Morris was leading six to two um, in this second game of the match, and now through many uh, through different um, mistakes, um, unforced errors coming from um, Morris and as well a couple of winners from a line and he has made it. 
to stay now on top, to be now on top of the match on 7 6. Out. And out. 7 all. Great top spin. Out. Volley trap. That was out. Sorry? We will play a let your player. We were going to play a let your player has uh, agreed to that. Thank you. <laughs> player correction. Seven all. Great call. Great fair, fair play call from, from Alainen. I mean. Seven all. Really impressive. Great fair play, uh, player right now. Fair play. Fair play, yeah. Sorry for that. That's what, that was down. It's the second time more trying that Eight shot in. Seven. Uh, he wants too much. Yeah. <sighs> Just needs to chill a little bit. Yeah, down. indeed. Down. Also down. Yeah. Uh, he's Nine. Seven. He's a little bit too too much under the pressure. Yeah. You can feel the, the power of these aggressions because of that. Ten but seven game ball. The I thing is that the thing is that Morris actually showed um, great quality in the in the first part of this uh, of this game against Alainen. Um, leading six uh, to two, um, but then Elinan just started getting a bit more grip, a bit more attacking shots in. Yep. Now the game has turned out to be a game ball for Elinan. 10 7, just missing that volley cross court nick. Hand out, uh, volley Eight, cr ten. cross court drop. Game ball. Um, Morris now is 8-10. Alainen has two game balls. Second try for him. Whoa. Got it, got it back. Great strength, great speed on that cross court from Alainen. 11-8, game to Alainen. Alainen leads two games point. to love. Just storming in on that, on that uh, front corner. Uh, going all in and playing that cross court like if there was no tomorrow. Yeah. Amazing stuff, definitely. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. So 15 seconds. We are back. 15 seconds left from the break. The second game was also 10 minutes long. Let's see. I think the next one will be also time minimum. Elainen leads two Seven games minutes. to love. La ball. Stroke to Elainen. 
वन लव down and out one all and out one all Stroke to a line and and out to one. So I think on this beginning of this game where some no it's too much for my taste the decisions of the referee. What do you mean? Too many decisions? Yeah, too many decisions in the first three balls. So yeah. That's that's hard. Yeah, definitely. And nearly every ball is a decision from the referee. His pickup was fine. Three one. Three right. one from the left. From the left. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> yeah, it was a good pick up we were seeing here on the replay as well. Um it's quite interesting. I mean Elena is three um, one. So agile, so into it, I mean so, so fast. Yeah, so freaking fast as well. I mean it's gonna be really interesting Four, to see one. how um, um, he develops actually in the course of the in the tournament. Um, if he happens to win this match, um, or anything, two games love, and then four points to one. Stop, please. Stop um, to Elainen. Very fair player, I gotta say. I mean, his shot was sufficiently impacted. Com from no, there was significant him, impact yeah. to the flight of the ball. Stroke to Elainen. Play on, please. Five one. Okay. Well, uh, that's quite interesting. I mean, uh, player, um, the player um, having a chat with the referee about what the rules are say, what the rules say. Um, I mean, you don't have to see that every single day, every single Six day, you know. One. Court. Yeah, great volley. I mean, and out, two six. That extra, those extra centimeters of reach uh, by Morris, Down. couple times coming. And to out, to play. Seven, two. seven two. Maybe this is a fast game. What do you think? Come again, please. And uh, maybe this is a fast game. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I said about twenty eight minutes, thirty minutes. So it should last. Um, no. Nope. And out. And out three seven. Sorry. Nope. Hand out three seven. Some mental games from Morris <laughs> coming into play right now. Um, when he when the score stands um, three to seven for him on the third game. Yeah. Not also f uh, not. Even just from Morris, also from Lennon, he is also playing a mentally game. 
Ja, and aber leider nicht. Yes, let. I guess. Uh, yeah. But I would give them a no let because the ball was free to play. Stop, please. Stop. Stop. Please wait for me to call the score. Thank you. Yes, let. 3-7. Three seven. Yes, let three seven. What would you say? I mean, it's a I quite interesting it. situation over here. Um, Morris is actually Down. playing the mental games with the wrong person, if Four, I would say. Seven. I mean, he's playing the mental games with a referee that cannot really go well. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let's see. Down. Hand out. 8-4. Down. Hand out. Five eight. Stroke to a line and hand out. Nine five. So I think in this situation you don't need any decision because the Morris was kicking the ball to the other corner of the court so he was giving up the ball from herself at this point to Elena. Yeah. Beautiful back into the corner and then ten five a match ball. The way he got that uh, that lob out of the of the front corner is quite interesting, quite um, admirable actually. Um, the touch that he has, uh, just quite impressive. I've never seen this before. So there Eleven is five the match. match to a line and three games to love. And there it goes, a 3 love. 11 for 4, 11 8, and we 11 will 5. And we'll continue in 25 minutes with the next match between James, uh, no, Bernard Chaume against Victor Birtus from Czech Republic. So at 6 pm, Bernard Chaume against Victor Birtus. Okay, all right.
Add it up. Add it up.
der Tschechien. Er ist 21 Jahre alt, ist im Juni 2017 der PSA beigetreten, aktuell auf Weltranglisten Platz 144. Die höchste Position war 105. Seine Interessen sind YouTube, Music, Cycling und andere Sportarten. On the left hand side from Czech Republic, Victor Virtus, he is 21 years old, joined the PSA in June 2017. His highest world rank was 144 and his actual world rank is 105. His interests are YouTube, music, cycling and other sports. Now change sides to the right side, there is Victor Virtus. On the other hand side, now on the left hand side, we have Bernard Jaume from Spain. He's 26 years old, joined the PSA in April 2013. Actual rank is 50 in the world and his highest ranking was 48. His interests are music and the NBA. Jetzt auf der linken Seite Bernard Jaume aus Spanien. Er ist 26 Jahre alt. Im April 2023 der PSA beigetreten, aktuell auf Ranglistenposition Nummer 50 und seine höchste Ranglistenposition war 48. Seine Interessen sind Musik und die National Basketball Association. So, ladies and gents, um, we are now back with the match Bernard Yomi against Victor Butus. Um, yeah, let's see. The players now off court um, to warm a little bit up. They have already 30 seconds left before the game. Play will, will start, start in 30 seconds. So the calls from the referee are also there and we hope you will enjoy this match. We both think that this match is a very good match. Yeah, indeed, I totally agree with you, mate. Um, both yeah, very young players. Bremer Schlüssel 2022, round two match. Werner Jaume of Spain to serve, Victor Birtus of Czech Republic to receive. Best of five games. Lavo. One love. And out one all.
lead. No lead. Wrong, wrong direction. No. Well, that's an interesting decision from from the referee. I mean, two one. Um, definitely, Bernard uh, went for the player, not actually for the ball. Um, but if you say it was the wrong direction, mm, that's a tough call, definitely. Yes, lad. Hmm. Two one. to Virtus. Three one. Pretty interesting what we've seen so far. I mean, two decisions uh, from the referee, um, both on calls from Bernard uh, Jalme. Uh, um, I mean, Victor is uh, Victor Virtus is actually right now just playing his game, letting. Bernard collide into him if he wants to, um, not really doing mu uh, r anything Hand out. Out conventional. Two, three. Seeing Bernard quite relaxed actually. Well, we have a world of difference with regards experience on the PSA World Tour. Um, five years to be precise, four years to be precise uh, between Bernard Jaume and Victor Virtus. Um, Three all. Five years of a five years of difference um, in age between both of them. Bernard, twenty six years of age, and Victor Virtus, twenty one. Um, the youngster here, Virtus, hand out. It's appearing to be quite much sure with his Please don't use the wall for wiping. Thank you. You can you can use the floor, not the walls. Four three. Bertus is actually showing, um, presenting himself very mature with his uh, way of playing. We'll see how he develops. And out. Four all during the match. This is actually the first. This is actually the four. first time that they both uh, meet on the PSA World Tour, um, so there aren't really um, any data to compare. They don't know um, from playing from having played on the PSA World Tour at least before, from before. Um, yes, but safety. one interesting thing yeah, yeah, is that um, Bernard Jaume has already been five, in four. ninety different tournaments has played 90 different tournaments in the PSA World Tour when Virtus only 38. So, as said before, there's a world yes, of difference here. Uh, Bernard yeah, also close. played yeah, 14 finals and Virtus only two. And Bernard have five titles and Virtus none. none. So, let's see. The, the matches also are speaking words. It's 
197 matches against to 75 matches. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, a lot of data, a lot of statistics um, being thrown around, but in the end, we only see who gets the, the upper hand on the, this uh, this match. So far, Virtus is um, having the lead. Not anymore. Uh, and out, 5-0. Game stands 5-0 the match so far. Both players are playing quite relaxed. Six five. Kind of studying uh, each other, um, how they want to play the match. They're gonna be playing it on the land on the short game. go just to the man or not to the ball no you creating you creating your own interference and out six all Seven six. Eight six. Nine six. Impressive word from Virtus actually um, uh, leading this game nine to six. But also we have seen that Bernard Rome is yeah wants to make the easy points by getting strokes or any other decisions. Yeah, um, I mean. It's like Bernard is actually playing with the referee instead of um, trying to show his best squash, you know. Um, Virtus, is actually, Virtus is actually doing that. I mean, he's not really caring about uh, the traffic or the inter interference to the ball. He's just going for it. That great topspin drop, amazing quality of this youngster and not getting that um, boast there. Just a pity. Hand out! Seven nine. Yes, lad. Yeah, he was not clear. Yeah, I mean, uh, Bertas is not doing his best uh, effort. Uh, maximal effort to 
get out of the of the scene. And just staying there, hanging around. Uh, Down. Yeah. Hand out. Ten seven. Game ball. Hand out, A-10, game ball. A-10, game ball. Two game balls for Beatus. Better not to serve. Stroke to Beatus. No. First, first of all, don't shout to me. Don't shout to me. It's quite a hard statement. 11 8. Game to Birtus. Birtus leads. One game to love. That's quite a hard a statement from, from uh, Jaume uh, as he leaves the court. I mean, uh, the referee is going to have quite some thoughts about the, the statement of, uh, of uh, Jaume. As he leaves the court, calling the the referee uh, weak. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we'll leave it up to him and see what he um, comes up if he comes up with a, a warning or any kind of any kind um, when he uh, then the game restarts on the second game. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. So resuming action, we'll see how um, Bernard actually um, yeah. Time. What his game plan is actually. Beatus leads one game to love. So I'm sorry. Lavo. No warning from the from the referee on the statement of Bernard as he leaves the court. All good. We're about resuming the the game. Whoa. Whoa. Tough. 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 I mean, Beatus went out. all one in. Love. Beatus went all in with that jump, uh, looking for that the cross corner make. Uh, but Jaume, great hand, great touch, putting the ball back in on that front corner. Two love. So, two love for Jaume. Stroke to Jaume. Jaume. Getting the racket on the face of your Three opponent, that's a, that's a rough thing you to do. And now uh, both players in <laughs> white t-shirts. Yeah. It's very in white t-shirts and uh both with the dark um shorts. Yeah. Not the best for the spectators. No, then also white brackets. Yeah, indeed. And both from Technifiable. Yeah. Both have white shoes. It's like uh, the blonde of the brown man. Down. Five love. So Jaume already with a with a five point lead on the second game. That's uh, something that Beata is gonna have to work his way up, um, his way back into the match, if he wants to have any chance on getting this second game. Five love. We can see some six, six love. Six love. We can see some hard hitting now from Jaume. Um, 
something that we didn't quite see on the first game. Um, precision from Virtus is there. Jamin not so much looking for uh, Virtus and actively going to the to the ball a little bit more. Port service, please. Well, Bertha slipping with a little bit of sweat Water there on please. the court. Um, well, yeah, the thing is that both players are agreeing to the to the um, to the conditions of the court uh, when they go in. Um, they should have called it early before if it was that necessary. Um, so now they he just have to live with it. Uh, Jaume has a seven point lead right now. Um, seven to love. Seven love. In the second game. Yes. Hand out. 1 7. Nice cross court leg from Beltos. 1 7. Six point uh, of lead uh, for Jaume from Spain. Let's see if Beltos can actually work his way up back into the game. That's quite interesting. Great weight. Good length on his cross court. 2 7. Hand out. Eight two. You can really tell how is that um, Beatos has a plan in his mind, a uh, game plan, just to get the, the tempo out of the ball, the pace out of the ball, uh, as much as he can. He's just letting Jaume do all the hard hitting, trying to get the pace into the ball, and um, he's just taking the pace out of it. I mean, trying to say relax, trying to say calm. Um, not letting himself um sorry for that, uh, that's German. Um yeah. Good. Alright. Not trying to get nine into Jaume's uh, game. So nine two seven point lead for Jaume. Hand out. Why you not play the ball? There was no there was no interference. You you step forward and the ball is on the right hand side. No. Yeah, easy no let. Hand out three nine. Well, I would agree actually on that on that decision from the referee. Easy no let. I mean, Jaume is just definitely going to the player uh, when the ball was on the right hand side. Um, so yeah, uh, he'll have to clear up his mind on that. Yeah. Stop looking for the player and start looking for the ball. Four nine. Going for the ball. Um, quite impressive how um, Vilt is actually doing his best not to collide uh, with. Uh, with Jaume um, doing his best, playing squash. Five nine. Not playing with the referee of any in any kind. Um, he has already made it actually for a stride of four uh, four points. Hand out ten five game ball to get back from a one nine. Uh, sorry, from a two nine uh, all the way to a five nine. Um, so three points in a row now. Stands 10 5, 5 game balls uh, for Bernard Jaume in the second game where Vertus was li leading, is leading 1 to love. Hand out 6 10 game ball.
Out. Wer hat das going for the Eleven six game to Jume. One game all. It's quite a pity. Would have got it. Yeah. I believe his confidence uh, on himself would have actually um, got better, gotten better. But anyhow, the game the match stands uh, one all for Jaume and uh, Virtus. Now we have a minute forty second pause until the game resumes. The match resumes. Okay, all right. in 60 seconds. Zoom in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. One game all. Jume to serve. Love all. And out, one love. Great land. Great length from Viotos on that um, straight two drive. love. Getting the two love. Good job from him. Yeah. Hand out. One, two. Virtus is trying to came uh, to to uh, to stay as calm as possible. Um, he has to do that actually because I mean Jomet is just player though he gets you out of the nerves. I mean no let no let the ball was so in the back so behind. No let. He wanted to look for the and ball in the back directly. Didn't even try to play it in the in the middle of the court as it was fine. Could have been a clear stroke, but just went past him. Hand out. Two, three. Yes, lad. Pick up, what's good? What's good? So we can see a safety Two, lad. Three. Yes, lad. 
So we can see a safety let uh, being played right now um, on the ball that Jomia asked for. My decision from my, to my point of view, of course. Um, Beatus was just walking into the line of the ball. Let's see how it goes now. Beatus leading 3 to 2 on the third game. Stand the, the, the match stands 1 all. Good land from Jaume. 3 all! Making Beatus walk the extra steps and doing big strides to get to that ball. So I'm not achieving his goal to get it back to the front wall. No let. There's a bit of traffic there, but minimal interference. Yeah, Jaume. And out for three. Just happened to find a le uh, just happened to find a leg uh, from Beatus um, as he was going to the ball. Good reaction from Jaume. And out for all. Getting that ball in. Good work. And out, 5-4. We, we can now see a bit of hard uh, hitting from both players. Um, totally different to what we saw on the first game. Uh, Mason pick up from Beatus, that front left corner. Great weight, great length from the others on that backhand side. Now leading two for two point by two points, six to four. Six four. And out five six. Impressive bows, impressive bows from from Bernard Jaume, um, right in the neck. Beltus, kind of just, I don't know. His body language is not easy to uh, to say what he um, what is going through his mind, how he's actually playing the match. He's definitely not the one who wants to apply the pressure by. Um, hitting those hard shots to the, into the back. Down. Seven six. Right. Yes. Six. Vert is just wanting too much there. Um, I mean, a little bit of improvisation is good, but just want too much. Amazing work from Biltus. And really. out. 7 8. How he defended that point. Impressive. Three great pickups 
where Jaume just was supplying pressure without break. Great boast now from Bertus. Dying, dying way. Dying Eight all. Perfect ball. Indeed, dying land, dying ball uh, in the front corner. Very well done. No less. Correct decision. Yeah, just falling, falling winning into shot. The player. Yes. Yeah. The explaining, the explain and was out. false. But Nine eight. I agree, no let, but not. Of course, it was a winning shot. It's just because of he's running into My his opening. is a winning shot. Before yeah. he knows where the ball comes, he could do one step behind or, uh, or next to his opponent and get the ball there easy, easily. But he don't need to run into his opponent. Yeah, definitely. Oh, great, ha great hands. Nine and all. out. Great job from Beatos. I mean, working his way out, his way um, against uh, all. the number one seed of the tournament. Um, Bernard Jaume coming from Spain to play in the Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Great pressure from Beltus. Yes, let. Mr. Jome, please. Please don't hit the ball after the rally. Yes, let. And please don't use the towel after every rally. Not every rally. Nine towel. Nine all. So Jaume clearly not uh, agreeing with the whole um, situation with the referee. Um, but he's been playing with the referee actually since the very beginning. So um, it's a clear movement from a uh, move from 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 Jaume at this point. Um, Beatus doing really good work, really good squash. 10 real. 9, game ball. Here, getting uh, his first game ball on this third game. Down. Sorry, not getting that, that both in. And out, 10 all. A player must win by two points. Yeah, definitely mental strength is playing a, a big role here. Um, both players very strong mentally, I would say. Physically, they're putting themselves to the test, I would say. That body language that they're having to make it look easy, it's actually very demanding. Yes, Led, Mr. Jones, please give more, give more access to the ball. If no discussion or code of conduct, and I use straight the point. Well, that's a heavy warning from the from the referee to uh, um, Jaume, warning him to use the, the the rule of conduct. I mean, yeah, he already uh, advised him. He already told uh, told him to um, not uh, have his anger, not release his anger with the towel and different situations. Well, conduct could be uh, actually the um, sorry for that uh, German coming out uh, the reason stroke to Beatus hand out 11-10 game ball Beatus now having his second game ball take this third game to him to hit it's quite a performance from the youngster here um, from Czech Republic um, playing the number one seed of the tournament Bernard Jaume 
from Spain. Great drop, great pressure, great work. And he managed to take the game. 12-10. Game to Bertos. Bertos leads. Two games to one. Great work from, the, from Victor Bertos. Two games to one. 12-10, that last one. Um, amazing work. I mean, third game, we're already over 30 minutes of, of game. 38, to be, uh, 38 minutes to be clear. It's just great squash what we're seeing here. I mean... Both players having great performance, um, playing really tight shots, uh, um, close to the team in the front of the court. Um, Jaume playing a little bit too much with the referee. Beltos doing his work, doing his job, playing squash, just squash, not trying to go for the player as much as uh, Jaume. Yeah, all right, going in for an ad and be back in one minute. Play will resume in 60 seconds. seconds. Time. Virtus leads two games to one. Virtus to serve. Lobo. So we're assuming the action here on the PSA well Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Beatus leads two games to one, already leading one point to love. Down. To love. Great love from Victor Biotos. Jean is struggling Three to get to that ball early enough so that he can take us a volley. Now Biotos leading three points to love in the fourth game. And what is the, ra the second round of this tournament? Court service, please. Court service, please. <laughs> he just shot. Well, these two guys are definitely not looking forward to be friends after the, the match. Hand out, 1 3. Playing some nasty shots in that sense. Is some. Uh, uh, not in the cleanest way, in the most verbal way. But anyhow, we're here to play squash, not to be friends, so that's a, that's a whole deal. Jaume sending Beatos the wrong way there. 2-3. Great quality cross-court. Uh, just to clarify, the Jaume, uh, Jaume number one seed uh, of the tournament is actually 50 of the PSA world ranking. Currently, stroke to Bertos. And Bertos is only 144 
two. So we are seeing great quality squash here, actually, from from the young um, Czech guy uh, coming from Trine. Five two. And now living in Ostrava, leading by three points. Five two. The fourth game. This would be quite a shock if actually um, Beatos manages to win this match. He's playing so sure, so confident. 6-2. This is definitely something that Jomi wasn't expecting um, from, from this match. What a precision, what an accuracy from uh, Beatos playing to drop in in the front left corner. So close to the 10. So confident, I repeat. Hand out. Three seven. Jama smashing uh, that uh, cross court down the court. Stroke to Jomé. Little bit more of work from Vilt. Loose shot. Expected. Yeah. No good clearing. No, no. Play on, please. I, I make my own decision, play on. Please, guys, play on. 4-7. Four, 4-7. Four. Down. Five seven. Jama being able to have a stride of three points in a row, um, getting closer and closer to Beatos. Now Beatos hitting six the seven. Four points in a row for Jame, who is now six seven in the fourth game. Hand out. Eight six. Twenty one years of age is Victor Viatos with hundred and forty four of the world ranking. It's eight six on the fourth game against twenty six year older Bernard Jaume, fifty of the world. Hand out. Seven eight. Great no pressure, lead. no lead. And out, no lead. You must play the ball, not the man. And out, nine seven. No discussion, no discussion. That's an accordion explanation from the referee uh, to Bernard Jaume. Um, he was under pressure, yeah, um, but he went straight for the man, not for the ball. The intention wasn't to get the, the, to the ball, actually. Um, could clearly see that. Now Viatos is with a two point lead 9 7. Stroke to Jaume. You was not you was not clear. You was not clear. Veltos not clearing the ball um, fast enough. Um, Jami getting the racket again to the face of Veltos. That's not a very fair uh, situation. Veltos showing now right. as he's splitting in some way. Um, not agreeing with the whole situation, Viotas. And out, 8-9. Referee not seeing uh, the blood, so it's not calling for the um, 
a blood pass um, due to injury or any kind of any kind. Match resumes. Eight nine for Jame. Mr. Jome, I'm not sure about your pickup. Don't hit the ball. Conduct stroke for unacceptable behavior. One more word and the match is over. Be careful. Hand out. 10-8 match ball. Very careful. Stop, stop talking or the match is over. Play on. Your behavior is not acceptable. Play on. Rough situation right now going on on the round two of the Premier Schlüssel 2022. Bernard Jame has just got um, Bertos just got a conduct um, stroke. Sorry, Jame got the conduct stroke being awarded to Bertos. Now is match ball and Bertos 11 8. Match to Bertos. Three games to one. Three games to one against the number one seed. 11 8, 6 11, 12 10, 11 8. Incredible match. Incredible match. We can speak, we can speak later. We can speak later. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. What we just got to see here. Um, Virtus <laughs> defeating the number one seed top 50 of the world he himself being 144 of the world 21 years of age against Bernard Jaume defeat him 3 to 1 in 49 minutes amazing squash we just saw uh, sorry Bernard Jaume from the very beginning just playing um, with the referee playing the man not the ball uh, Vertus showed great squash um, on court and he got the upper hand he got the match amazing stuff uh, we will resume actually um, in nine minutes um, with the match of Valentin Rapp against uh, Martin, Martin Gamal from Egypt Valentin Rapp from Germany uh, Martin Gamal is the number one uh, the number two seed of the tournament um, it's gonna be an interesting match I mean definitely Valentin is a very um, athletic um, squasher and uh, Masengama, uh, he's bringing actually uh, his number 54 of the ranking, um, the PSA world ranking. Um, Valentin Rab only being 132. It's gonna get interesting. Stay on the stream, gonna be back in 8 minutes. Okay, all right.
Add it up. Okay, I'll write So hello everybody, um, I'm going to do introducing the last match of uh, the evening. It's going to be Mal Valentin Rapp uh, from Germany against Martin Gamal uh, from Egypt. Uh, Martin Gamal, he's uh, 36 uh, years of age. He joined the PSA on August 2008, so quite a run uh, as, uh, as all the way. He's currently the 54 um, of the world ranking, even though his highest ranking was 51 of the world. 190 me uh, centimeters, meter 90 for him, for him. Coming all the way from Egypt, born actually in Saudi Arabia. Going to be playing against Valentin Rab from Germany, 29 years of age. Going to PSA on January 20, 2017. Actually, his current ranking is 132, but he has already been 100 of the world. Meter 75. So a difference of 15 centimeters between these two guys. We're gonna see how the reach uh, is gonna affect the match. Um, born in Tint. Tinknan, Germany, living in Stuttgart. 
His main interests are playing cards and board games and enjoying time in nature. Half time. Okay, all right. Add it up. Time. So, hello everybody. Um, Juan Gro here from Argentina. Thank you. Um, your commentator tonight. We're here for the last match um, of the second round of the Premier 2022 in Bremen, Germany. Um, we have on court um, coming up uh, Valentin Rab against uh, Martin Gamal. Uh, Valentin has already been in 55 tournaments all around the world and Martin Gamal 133 tournaments in his career. Um, these guys... Play will start in 30 seconds. Tons, tons of experience. Um, just to gather up a little bit, um, Valentin has been in 5 finals and Martin Gamal has been in 18. Um, Valentin Rab has had... Play will start in 15 seconds. Has two titles in the PSA World Tour and Martin Gamal 10 of them. Uh, uh, Martin Gamal is the num is a seed number two of this tournament and has time 36 years of age. Remarch 2022 round two match. Martin Gamal of Egypt to serve. Valentin Rapp of Germany to receive. Best of five games. La Vol. One love. So we see some heavy hitting, uh, hard hitting from uh, um, Mr. Gamal on the first point of the match. Down. Just clipping the tin, Valentin. Two love. Mr. Rap trying to play that drop shot in, not getting it. Gamal now leads two points. Love.
free love. Three love from the left. Hand out. One, three. Great touch, great control from Valentin, putting that uh, drop shot in on the right side of the court. Yes, let. Hand out. 1 3. Quite some traffic on that uh, left side of the court, um, trying to get to the ball. Let's being played right now. Valentin served 1 to 3 in what is the first game of this match. Seems I'm good. It's Seeing some good uh, technical work on the left side of the court. This kind of work is actually expected from these two gladiators on court. Um, both very experienced, as said before. Um, they know how to walk the, co the court, they know how to hit it. And out for one. We're expecting a marathon of squash here, actually. Yes, let hand out for one. Dying land. Five, one. Dying land from Mr. Uh, from Gamal. That cross court. I mean, it doesn't get more precise than that. Stroke to Gamal. Six one. Yeah, I gotta agree with Rap on that one. Um, Gamal sh w should have taken the the other line to the ball, but just went straight into the player. Anyways, the um, referee awards a stroke to Gamal, and now he leads 6-1. to one. Down. Hand out. 2-6. Rap to serve. 2-6. He's gonna have to uh, work his way back into the, into the match. I mean, 4-point lead right now for Gamal. Great touch, great touch. Hand out, 7-2. Gotta highlight anyhow the experience of Kamal on that last, last point. Just putting the body in the way of uh, Rapp's um, weight into the ball. Just making himself a little bit bigger so that he actually has trouble to get in. Great pickup from Kamal. Hard hitting. 8 2 from the left. Hard hitting. Great kill on the left side of the court. Making it tough for Rap to get in there. Now Gamal has a six point lead. Nine two, Kamal punching it down, punching it um, down the court with great strength. 
Rap not doing very much, uh, not hurting him that much uh, with hi with that drop shot in the front right corner. Um, ten two game ball from the left. Surprising cross court to the middle, weird bounce in the back of the court, Valentin uh, Rapp not being able to actually get a, a straight drive out of it, and now Gamal has eight game balls uh, for this first game of the last match. 11-2 game to Gamal, Gamal leads one game to love. And so it goes 11-2 for Gamal in this first game of the, uh, of the last match of the Bremer Schlüssel 2022 in Bremen, Germany. Um, Kamal is able to wrap it up actually in eight minutes. Um, great stuff, great squash from both players. And uh, Kamal, very secure, very self-confident, um, having actually great length on every and almost every shot, um, giving his best to get to the pick to to get to the balls, not letting any ball um, loose for Rap to go and hand it down. Really impressive squash what we're seeing to, uh, tonight. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Gamal leads one game to love. La ball. So we resume the action on the last match of the evening. Valentin Rab against Martin Gamal, number yes, let number two seed seeded number two in this tournament. No, he had cleared on time. Fifty-four of the world against a hundred and thirty-two. Yes, La Vol. Mr. Gamal, fifty-four of the world. I repeat, against Valentin Rab, a hundred and thirty-two. And out, one love. Lovely drop from a rap uh, on the left side of the court, along alongside uh, the side wall. to Gamal hand out one all loose shot from Valentin uh, rap um, on the left on his backhand side on, on the backhand side coming back to the, coming back to the middle and Gamal being awarded a stroke amazing hand out two one amazing volley drop from Valentin Rab into the almost into the neck, rolling neck. Great work. Three, one. Dying weight, dying length uh, into that two wall bows from Valentin. Great stuff Com coming from the um, G German 29 year older um, Valentin Rab. 
Hand out. Two, three. Hand out. Four, two. Great bows from Valentin. Bows that goes into the neck. Kamal not being able to take it out. And therefore now leading 4-2 for Rap. Five two. Great shot from Valentin. As well again, another great boast. This time on the right side uh, for Gamal's backhand. Now having a three point lead, five two in the second game where Gamal leads one game to love. Down. Clipping the top of the ten there, Gamal with his post. Down. Strong mental game from Seven from two. Now having a five point lead uh, in the second game of the match. Great volley drop, applying pressure um, on the right side, Rap, from Rap. Just letting the ball hang in. 3-7. In the front left corner for then Gamma coming down the corridor and smashing it down with a great cross court. Yes, I saw that. No let. No let. No, the line was... No, that was a winning shot. So the explanation is it was a winning shot. 4-7. It was indeed. Uh, the bounce was a little bit odd. Um, gotta give that to Rap. Kind of a pity. Yes. Let. Traffic. Yeah, I mean, Gamal finds a uh, rap. Mr. Gamal, please also try to work around your opponent a little bit. Thank you. Indeed, good explanation from the referee there. Four seven. The line was somewhere else. Not looking for the player. Uh, looking for the player definitely over the Gamal, who has actually managed uh, to fight back five point different, five point lead from Valentin Rap, now making it only a three-point lead from the, for the German guy. Five, seven. Great love from Gamal over there. Getting out of that uh, pressure situation. Getting past Valentin. Um, Rap doing his best but still not making it to get the ball back in, t uh, in the game. Into the game. Valentin's uh, length on that crossword wasn't good enough. Just leaving the ball hanging in the middle. Still under pressure. The love is not good enough. Still gets his player moving. We're having a lot of movement here over here at diagonal. Yes, let. That was a line behind him. Sufficient interference. Mr. Gamal, please take the message and play on. There was a line on the left. Yes, let. Five, seven. Have to agree with the referee on that decision, actually. Um, there was a clear line on the left. Gamal was just playing the, the player. Looking for the player, not for the ball. Down. Clipping the top of the tin. Hand out. 
Rap finally getting a, a point after three points in a row. Stride uh, uh, for Mr. Gamal, number uh, seed, seed number two in this tournament. No let. Nine five. Very dominant position from Rap uh, playing that straight drive down the line, making things very uncomfortable for Gamal. Stroke to uh, stroke to Rap. No, he he had no cross court. Ten five. Game ball. So five game balls now for Rap. Um, yeah, the stroke to me it was clear. Um, Valentin out. Six ten. Game ball. Still, that Valentin uh, went the other way. Uh, he still managed to get fast enough to the ball, um, where to the point where he didn't have the full um, hundred percent of the front court, the front uh, wall. Uh, to play a shot, so that's oh. why he was awarded a stroke. Um, Seven ten game ball. Now having only three game balls, two unforced errors. Now let. Great weight on that uh, boast um, from. Eight ten game ball. Gamal against Rap. Only two game balls remaining uh, for Valentin Rapp on what is the second game, the last match of the evening, the round two, Bremer Schlusses 2022. Yes, let. Yes, let. 8 10, game ball. bit of traffic on that back left corner Gamma coming out of the pressure still fighting wonderful drop thank you and he calls the double such a fair eleven player. eight game to wrap one game all amazing amazing call great squash what we just saw on that last rally um, wrap wrapping it up actually eleven eight the second game uh, in eleven minutes making a one all for both players. I mean, it's great squash what we're seeing so far. Um, it, we were promised um, definitely a marathon of squash. And this guy's um, two games, 20 minutes. Really good. Uh, the accuracy is just unbelievable. Play with human, 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. One game all. Rap to serve. 
la bol. So resume the action here on um, the last match of the evening. Valentin Rab against Masen Gamal. Seat number two of this tournament of the Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Hand out. One love. And out, one all. Good positioning, good length from Mr. Rapp um, to get that one all in the third game. Getting the nick on the left Two hand one. side. On the backhand side, getting the nick, great cross court from Rapp. Yes, let. Right. The twenty year the twenty nine year older Valentin Rapp is fighting his way back from a one uh, from a one love. Down. Three one. Game. Now making it one all in games and three one in points against the number the number se the second seeded sorry the seed number two of the Bremer Schlüssel Matzen Gamal 36 year older coming all the way from Egypt to play in Bremen Germany falling short on that on that lap Mr. Valentin Rapp Great straight drive. Hand out. Now. Two, three. Stroke to up. And out for two. Down. Five, two. Five two. No let, but you accepted the interference. Well, that's a rough call from the referee actually, um, saying that Valentin accepted the, re the interference. Hand out, 3-5. Uh, sorry, uh, Rap accepted the interference. We're seeing a bit of traffic in the last couple of points between these two players. Great straight drives coming on the backhand side. Bit of a longer drop shot there from Rap. Odd positioning for Gamal. Then leave it in 
four, five, then leaving the ball uh, with the post in the front of the court for then Gamal coming straight out to it and smashing it down the straight drive, that backhand side. Five all. A bit of late uh, reflexes from Mr. Rapp on that last point. Um, actually, I think it was kind of a taxi, if I would say. I mean, speed, uh, tempo, the pace that he, um, which uh, Gamal, which, which Gamal played. With Six shot. five. Good wait. And another one here, and the last one. Um, great straight drive from a Gamal on that forehand side. Seven five. Rap losing that lead uh, on the third game that he had he had achieved three point lead that he had. Now um, Gamma has a two point lead uh, um, on the German twenty nine year older. And out six seven. I saw the ball as good. Stroke to Gamal. Hand out. It's eight six. I saw the ball as good, Mr. Rupp, so I cannot stop that when I see it as good. Thank you. Hand out. Eight six. Hard situation here. Uh, the referee not seeing. To my eye, a, a clear double bounce uh, on the left hand si uh, left hand side of the court. Uh, yeah, and then awarding a stroke to Gamal for another situation. Hand out, seven eight. Yeah, I mean, Rap um, not agreeing with this situation. It's of course um, more than valid. And now he is just one point uh, from getting. 8 to 8 uh, with uh, Gamal on the third game of the match. Two amazing shots. And out. Nine, seven. Two amazing shots from Gamal. I mean, that pose, how Rab actually got it, it's uh, quite impressive. And then the touch, the touch he had to play that drop in. Wonderful. Ten, seven. Game ball. So. Three game balls for Gamal coming all the way from Egypt, playing rap from Germany. Yes, let ten seven game ball. So we're playing a lead ball on what is ten seven three game balls uh, for Gamal against Valentin Rap. Rap going for that volley cross coordinated and Hand getting out. it. H10, game ball. Eleven eight game to Kamal. Kamal leads 
Two games to one. So Gamal wrapping it up, uh, wrapping up the third game in 10 minutes, 11-8 for for himself. 2-1, um, uh, 32 minutes of match uh, time we had already. Um, yeah, quite a quite a performance, I would say. I mean, both players are leaving everything on court. Um, it's a little bit of too much uh, participation of the referee to my taste I would say um, on what is uh, th this last match of the round two the Bremen Schlüssel 2022 in Bremen Germany um, yeah to everybody that um, are just they will resume in 60 seconds that are just connecting to the stream my name is Juan Gro coming from Argentina so I apologize for the English Mix him up with German and Spanish. Um, um, we'll be resuming 45 seconds the action here in the Bremen Ob in the Bremen Schlüssel 2022. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Time. Gamal leads two games to one. Gamal to serve. La ball. So resuming the action uh, on this match again. Uh, La ball. Valentin Rab against Masin Ga Gamal. Seat number two of the Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Recalling his 54 of the world, Valentin Rapp, 132. Gamal leads two games to one. Now one love. One love. Almost got him trapped on that one. But Kamal was fast enough to actually read it and then play Too love. an amazing volley drop on the left hand side on the on the backhand side, left side of the court. Incredible. No let. No. Great weight uh, on that. Three boss love from Gamal to the backhand side. Hand out one three. Yeah, you gotta highlight uh, the length uh, on that cross, cross court from Valentin Rap. Actually, getting it, uh, getting the second bounce on the um, on the back of the court, uh, on the nick of the back of the court. Sorry for the bad English on that one. Now serving one three in the fourth game. Sorry for uh, um, to all spectators. Two, three. Um, the stream was still on white. Now you are able to see the action. Stroke up. Three all.
stroke to rub. You made no, not, you didn't make enough effort to clear. Four, three. Five, three. So we have a couple of working length drives on the backhand side. A great chance. Two great volley drops from and Valentin out. Rab Four, applying five. pressure. The second one Sarli just falling in the middle and um, hanging there, leaving it perfectly for Gamal to then come just drop it in and rub it up. Now serving 4-5 in the 4th game. Down. Kamal just clipping the six four top of the hand out. Six four. Gotta highlight how Kamal is actually making Valentin Rap work much more than he would like. Actually, I think um, Valentin not being able to actually apply that much pressure on Kamal. Kamal just sending him all over the court, but Rap is actually doing just as good, just as fine to be able to have a two-point lead on the fourth game Down. playing that both under, into the tin hand out, 5-6 and now Gamal to serve 5-6 with a only one point to be side by side with Rap Down. 6 all all coming down to the mental game, to the mental strength of both players. Kamal already having one game for uh, being one game up, two one. Great drop from Rap. Bit of traffic on the middle. Great movement from Rapper, definitely. Oh, he got out of that of that pressure in the front corner, Gamal. Tons of experience, you can tell. Yes, let Mr. Kamal, I need you to make more effort to go around the player and, and, and not just wrap your racket around him. Thank you. Great explanation from the referee, I gotta say. Um, yes, let six all. Kamal to serve from the left. You can tell how Kamal actually went around the player instead of doing his maximal effort to go to the shot. Yes, let six all from the left.
out seven six Seed number two of the Premier Schlüssel 2022 is now leading 7-6 in the fourth game. 2-1 in games for him. Down. Smashing that bows into the... And out. 7-all. Into the tin. Another unforced error from Gamal. Let's see if the German Valentin Rapp has what it takes to get this game and possibly go on a on a five setter to the fifth game. See if he can get if he can get past the quarterfinal. Please play a let. I'm not sure about the pickup on the back left. And out. Seven all. Yes, because I'm not sure if that ball pick if the pickup was good at the back left. Before that, it was a handout. It was just a seven all. There's no change in score. Okay. No, you have to serve from the right, Mr. Rapp. You're right. From the right. Uh, Mr. Rapp, Mr. Rapp, please don't open the door without asking again. Please don't do it. Play on, please. Thank you. Seven all. So, having quite a chit chat here uh, between Rapp and the referee. Yeah. Um, just taking a break, you know, have a chat with the referee and then keep on working. 7 all, fourth game. Kamal leads two games to one. Great attacking shot from Rap. 8-7 Getting that volley kill, cross court kill um, To the 6th corner in the middle of the court um, Kamal not being able to grasp it out And now Rap gets the eight, the 1 point lead 8-7 And out, 8 all Amazing length, great weight um, of Kamal into that boast, two ball boast. Great work from Rap. Hand out, 9 8. Repeating a winner shot to get the 8 7, now gets the 9 8. Quick volley cross court kill to the sixth corner in the middle of the court. Kamal not being able to take it out. Stroke to Rap. Kamal not being able to clear that ball. 10 8, game ball. Fast enough, quick enough. Rap now has two game balls. Serving 10-8, 1-2 in games. Come on, going for that quick volley cross court neck from the s by the serve. Not getting it. Great weight from Rap. Working it. Getting that cross court volley drop. It's right. And he clips it in. Rap makes it 11 8, game to Rap, two games all. Rap makes it into the fifth game. Uh, now 11 8 on the fourth. 
great work from these two guys. Just fighting and fighting. Gamal was doing his best work to actually wrap it up in fourth game, 3-1. to one. But Rap did an amazing performance. Actually, after that chit chat, it uh, was quite long actually. Um, on the 7 all, where the referee was able to then make it um, t for him 11 8. That fourth game actually took 14 minutes. Now we are by 47 minutes of uh, match. Quite impressive from both players. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Two games all, wrap to serve. The ball. So let's see if uh, this last match of the second round of the Premier Schlüssel 2022 has another surprise for us, like we just saw with uh, the player Victor Virtus against Bernard Jaume defeating the number one, love. one seeded 3-1. to one. Now the German Valentin Raab, 29 year older, is playing against Martin Kamal, seeded number two, number two seed in the Bremer Schlüssel 2022 36 year older coming all the way from Egypt great length and out Kamal. one all Stroke to wrap. You're not clearing a loose ball. Hand out. 2-1. Tough call. I mean, if he would have played it, I mean, that's hard to say. Um, definitely there was, some, there was traffic uh, interference to the shot. Um, but well, if it was enough for a stroke, that's in the eye. Hand out. To all. In the eye of the referee. Now serving to all Gamal from the right side in this fifth game, the second round. Valentin Rab against Masen yes, Gamal. To all. all.
You guys okay? Rough situation. Rap late. An interesting selection of shot, I would say, out of that position. Watch service, please. Then wasn't able to clear it uh, fast enough. Um, just for Gamal to run into him. Um, I mean... No let. The winning shot. It's a winning shot. You went to the front and then you couldn't turn around on time. That's the, that's the no let. Mr. Gamal, please listen to the explanation. You went to the front, then you created your own interference, but then the ball was dead. Hand out, 3 2. There was interference, but it was still a winning shot. Play on, please. Well, like I said, interesting situation. I mean, uh, it all comes up Down. from the the, the Four, decision, two. the choice, the, ch the shot decision of, of Rap to play that cross court, um, and then to my eye, at least, uh, generating he, um, generated under Rap generated the interference um, by playing that shot. Gamal running into him, and the referee then awarding a no let for Gamal. Yeah. Hand out, three, four. Pretty sure the referee will um, will then look at the replay and have an, an extra thought on that. Gamal now serving three, four in the fifth game. Down. Great working boast, uh, boast from Rap. Hand out, five, three. Two consecutive bows, making Gamal really work um, to get the ball out, not getting the length, and then Rap pushing and pressing again um, with that shot. The front right corner of the court. Again, we can see when the ball is coming to the middle, Rap choosing that um, cross court. Making Gamal change directions completely. Going the other way. The ball's just staying inside. Just staying in. Hand out. Four, five. Great rallies what we're seeing so far in this fifth game. Um, between Gamal, Matsen Gamal from Egypt and Valentin Rapp from Germany. Down. Great weight on that boast. Hand out. 6-4. From Valentin Rapp. Looking for the second bounce in the middle of the court. Quite off the quite odd bounce. Um, Kamal not expecting that shot. Not being able to take it up. Pick it up and then continue the game. Awarding Rapp. A two ga uh, point lead. To serve 6-4 on the fifth game. No let. Fast hitting from Gamal. Hand out. Five, six. Making Rap just run right straight into him and not being able to get to the back of the court to get the shot. Then being awarded no let. Yes, let. Yes, let five six. Great land from Gamal. Oh, that was a tight drop shot. Six all. I think Valentin actually, yeah, he gave it up. 
he gave it a fair, fair play action from, from Valentin Rapp, 29 year older German, um, coming from Stuttgart all the way to Bremen to play the Bremer Schlüssel 2022. Yes. Rap is going to have to do a little bit more than that uh, um, to get a lead um, out of a 7 6. Dying land from what was a great shot from Gamal. Bit of interference, and then he just stopped his way to the ball. Gamal just served 7 6 on the fifth game. High volley drop from Rap. Yes, let. Mr. Kamal, you went too much to the man for my liking. That's why it's a let. 7 6. Yeah, I have to agree with the referee on that call. Um, Kamal did his best, but there was traffic, and yeah, it's gotta be a let. So we move on. 7-6 for Gamal. Couple of straight drives down the left hand side of the court. Valentin oh. running back to that backhand out. side. The ball was out. 8-6 from the left. Gamal serving 8-6 from the left side. We'll see if the um, German 29 year older Valentin Rapp has what it takes um, to get back on track and be able to then get to the quarter final where he, one of these two players, will meet Andres Arroyo from Colombia. Down. Valentin just missing that Nine, drop six. on the front left corner. Gamal running into his arm. Nothing that these guys are not used to live with every day. Way too high volley, and then Gamal goes with the dying ten six drop match ball on the front left corner. Such a tight from the drop left. shot. When the positioning wasn't the best, Gamal was still able to produce such a great drop shot, so close to the sidewall that Rap wasn't able to get it. And now he has four match balls against Valentin Rap, ten six. The seat number two of the Bremer Schlossel 2022, Masin Gama from Egypt. Amazing drop shot from Rap, grasping it out of the side wall. On that backhand side, and then Gamal getting six. the win. Match to Gamal, three games to two in the fifth game. 11 2, 8 11, 11 8, 8 11, 11 6. So, as promised, we had what was a marathon of squash 61 minutes between Valentin Rab from Germany against Matsin Gamal from Egypt. 3 2. 11-6 on the last one, 12 minutes, the longest game, 14 minutes. Yeah, I hope um, you enjoyed the match. That was the second round of the Premier Schlüssel 2022. And the action will resume tomorrow, actually, uh, by the quarterfinals at 16 o'clock between Yannick Omlor from Germany against Balas Farkas from Hungary. The Seat number five, Yannick Omlo against Baras Farkas, the seat number four from Hungary.
See you at 16 o'clock um, tomorrow through the PSA live stream and Sport Deutschland TV um, on the center court here in Bremen. Have a nice evening and all the best. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs>